What we are saying is that if the Igwe wants to empower we the youth, he should do it properly. Yes. Empower us all well now. Look, and let me even tell you, eh, any underground politics hmm, that would give advantage to some people mm. and disadvantage to others will be resisted by me. And me too. In fact, we will scatter everywhere. Man. See, the solution to this problem now is that everyone must benefit from this empowerment. Ho <laughs> ha! Um, but, but guys, listen, eh? let, let us even look at this this way. Youth leader, what are 30 motorcycles? Uzurugin. But that is what he has to offer for them. See, if that is what he has to offer, why must he be 30 motorcycles? Right eh? For the plenty youths of this village, how many of us will he share it to? Is this not a deliberate attempt to scatter the youths by setting us up against each other. Whoa. So what are you saying? Huh? So you tell me, what are you all saying? We should disband the empowerment program or what? Uh, 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 see, see, it is not what we are saying. We are not going to reject the program outrightly. We are saying that it is not good enough. Uh -huh. huh? Okay, let me ask you. What would be the criteria for the sharing? What about the younger ones, the babes amongst us? Are you talking about Kada? Are you going to do? Ask him. Well, we all know you know ourselves. Yes, uh, we know those who are more hardworking than the others. Eh? Oh yes. It's a guinea. You heard me. How do you identify those that are not hardworking? Johnny, no, no. People argument that it will kill us. It will destroy us. <laughs> See, youth leader, this disagreement will continue because everybody must benefit. Oh, if not, we will continue to disagree with you. Uh, you know what? You know what? I am done with this argument. I'm I'm tired of all this argument. I'm done, and I have come to a conclusion. Well, this is my conclusion. I think we will have to empower the youths with the 30 motorcycles that were provided. And then in the next uh, empowerment, those who do not benefit from the previous will benefit from the present. Mm. This is what I think we should do. Mm. At least we all have what we're doing mm. to survive. Huh? You have what you are doing. You, you, you are the only one that has in something to do. I'm not done talking. Uh, okay. Keep talking. We all have what we do to survive. So we should continue with that until the next um, empowerment. This is my final conclusion. For the betterment of our kingdom. I beg you. Papa, your conclusion. Okay. You heard him now. It his is conclusion. your conclusion. You, you have concluded. He has Thank a you. supermarket. Thank you. Stop talking about my supermarket. Is it not true? Hey, John. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Oh. What are you writing? I went to the store and I didn't meet you there. Well, I've not opened that place today. I'm trying to list out things I need at the shop. I want to go to the market to stock up the shop. Since I'm still alone until I get an attendant. Huh? Okay, you know what? Just give me the keys. I'll go and open up for you. Don't give me that look. You know I'll always help you out. I know, darling. I just don't want to stress you all the time. You might be busy at home, or maybe your grandma needs your time. It's okay. I told her I was coming to see you, so it's fine. Get me the keys. Get the keys. Are you done writing? <sighs> okay then, if you insist, I will uh, I'll give you the keys. Are you done writing? Partially. Huh? Okay. Come in, let me get the keys. Okay. No, 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 darling, darling, no, don't. Don't stress yourself. You know it's no stress now. Eh? I can help you get them. Hmm? Come here. 
You know we are in the shop for... Hmm. My shop? Yeah, and someone can walk in. I tell me, how much have you sold today? Don't worry. I made quite a bit of sales. Well, you know you're very good at business. Really? Yes. Hmm? Come, let's go and get the rest of the stuff. Hi, right, darling. <laughs> Bro, what's up now? I'm good. How have you been? You've been very scarce this days. My brother, not the hustle, still on the hustling things. Eh? I understand, yeah. Hi. Oh. You know, I remember when people neglected you, eh? Look at you today, yeah? You're in big business. <laughs> Everybody don't choke. Abby? Hi! Um, you go lend me money today, oh. Lend you what? Hi. My business money. So how do I stay in business? Wait, wait, John. I play at the play. Eh? So what's I, new? I, I don't joke with this kind yeah, of thing. I know. What's new with you, Jare? Well, um, nothing is new. Mm -hmm. You just missed Viola. She's oh. been here all day. I went to the market to buy some things. Yeah, I would have come earlier. Eh? It's been long I've seen her. <laughs> so what happened? I didn't see you at the meeting. Hey, I took permission from Chinedo. And I'm sure he must have mentioned it at the meeting. Boy. Something came up. Something that has to do with money. And you know I don't joke with money. I have to pursue it. Eh? Because a man without money is like a skeleton. <laughs> you always have a very funny way to qualify everything. But that's the truth now, eh? So how did the meeting go? Well, the meeting went well. Um, as a Before you tell me about this meeting, eh? Let me just tell you what happened in Enoagu today. Now the real truth is coming out. I thought you said you went for a business meeting. Listen, I will start. I, I think I will have to query you. Mm. Query from my good friend. Eh? That one a good query now. I beg you, leave that one. I was told you went for an occasion, so I was wondering what occasion would be better than the youth council meeting. Uh, wait, wait, first. See, a friend of mine from me now who invited me to a ceremony today. Boy, hey, there is one man. Called Chief Polycarpo Kiki. That man is a big boy. Eh? Very influential, popular. Every young man should know him all. Eh? I'm even thinking we should go and meet him. Who doesn't know Chief Polycarpo Kiki? Eh? I'm surprised you're just getting to know him. The one that's into power plant distribution. Eh? Yes, now. Hey. I've known him long before now. The truth is that uh, I didn't know about him, not until today. He's the one taking the new title now. Boy, come and see the caliber of people that graced the ceremony. Boy, money was just flying in the air. Flying in the air. They were spraying hard hard currency. Why are you having a favor? Hey! Why are you acting up like you've never seen anyone take a title before? Ha. See, I wish you had gone with me so that you see with your eyes. Eh? You think it's uh, this type of title we take in Agi? Ha! No! This one is on another level, eh? See, that kind of ceremony can never be performed in Agi. Who wants sponsor him? Onye? Where men want to see that kind of money? Ha! Baba. Baba, you have to calm down. Mm. You really have to calm down. Everyone has his own time. Hmm? You need to calm down, focus and work for your money. Those things take time. They take the, you build money, not not um, um, grab them overnight. If you don't calm down, you might just get yourself involved in something very terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm advising you now as a friend. No, 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 motivational speaker. I bet you. I only admire the ceremony. We all Huh? Better be you. So, how far now? What do you have for me? Eh? I can carry one juice. Carry water. Why? Because this, this is a juice farm, huh? I mean, there's a juice factory. Just walk into this place and pick up juice anyhow you like. Clinton, I don't know you, Clemson. I don't know you to be a stingy boy. I am very stingy. Yes. Hi. Let it be said that I'm stingy. Go and ask men who have made it. Men who are known. Men who made hard currency legitimately. They were very stingy until they became so rich. They had to build wealth. And when they were ready, they came out as, as, as philanthropists. That's how it works. Who 
are you and why are you smiling at me? A beautiful woman like you should not have a problem with another woman smiling. I'm sorry you took it that way, but I'm sure we haven't met before. I am Ezawani Ugugu. And I have come to hold a private meeting with you. Did you say Ezawani Ugugu? Yes. If I am not mistaken, Ezawani Ugugu is one and same deity of the people of Aki. Are you a deity? And why have you come to pay me a visit? Once in a while, human beings, special human beings, become friends to deities. Now you are my friend, and I have come to interact with you. Can I want to? Please go. Why am I talking to a deity? Do not be scared, my friend, for you have been chosen by the gods and the goddesses of Akiyi for your good intentions towards your love, cleansing. A man who is after the heart of the gods for his boldness and the way he handles the issues in the kingdom. But he has just one problem. He doesn't believe in Ogugu. He does not believe in any traditional institutions. So why then have the gods chosen me? You have been chosen to do something special. Something you can do. Something that will transform Aki and something that will also transform your life. Trust me, Viola. You will smile. And that smile will be permanent. Was it not you I just saw in my dream? What? Who are you and what do you want from me? The dream was just a metaphysical introduction to prepare your mind for the physical. For everything that happens in the physical is metaphysically controlled. Okay, can we just pretend like we haven't met? Just go, please. I am very fragile and I cannot handle any of this. I, I... The women who command and humble authorities are not women of physical strength. Physical strength is just an aberration. Remember, my friend, do everything I instruct you to do. Follow my path and you will discover how powerful you have become. Dreaming. Ah. Ah. It's not a dream. Why me? Why? Why has this? Why has this deity come to me?
of land all this now? Eh? How am I going to handle this? When did this one start? You didn't even bother to come in. No, Mama, I um, I came since, so I decided to just um, I was just thinking and analyzing some things. Uh, uh, yes, Ma. You want to say if uh, you can analyze? Anyway, I want to go to the market. I, I hope you're not going out again. No, Mama, I'm not going anywhere today anymore. Ogin, are you okay? Why is your face like this? Are you sick? No, ma'am, I'm fine. I'm not sick. Any question? But by the way, how come you're back early from Clemson? Hey, ma, normally when you visit, you overstay. You never like coming back. It's either you're doing house chores for him or you're in his shop selling his commodities for him. How did you go? Was no. there any misunderstanding? No, mama. I, you know, I don't... Um, I hardly sleep in the afternoon, so I, I, I just slept a little bit. That's why my face is like this. But I'm fine. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh -huh. Your food is in the kitchen. When you're hungry, go and carry it. Okay, ma'am. You're sure there's nothing wrong with you? You're sure. How will I begin to explain this thing to my mom now? Hey? Of all the maidens in Aki, why would this goddess choose me? Clemson. But when you look closely at all he does, you will discover that he has the interest of everyone at heart. Look, that is not my point. My point is that he is overprotecting the king and all these men that are sitting on our resources. He should pretend as if he's not seen us and allow us to eat this man below the belt. Yeah. Then it will be recorded that during his reign as the president of the youth, the youth of Aki revolted against the powers that... We would he... not involve him. Hmm? He should just quit talking to people. You know how people respect him. Once he talks to them, they will listen to him and it will cripple our plans. I don't think violence has ever solved anything. Clemson is doing well. Huh? I feel we owe him our support. Who do we run to now? Everyone is giving excuses. While, while, while these men sit on the resources of Aki, eh? And all they can think of is to give us a motorcycle. Nah, let us change it for this man. <laughs> it will backfire. Yes, it will backfire. Let us work with the president and make a key peaceful. Clemson huh? is too quiet. It's too quiet. On one night 50 years ago, when I was about to give the gift of a star to the people of Akiyi Kingdom, a man of Aki transferred that gift to the people of Enwago. Is it why? I am but a young woman of Aki. I don't know much about my people. So, I don't know what you're talking about. What is the gift of a star? A man will rise to be wealthy. He will be blessed beyond abundance. That is the man that will establish the people of Aki. 
Okay, so how was this gift transferred? The man who was supposed to transfer the gift of the star to his wife by ejaculating the said son traveled to Enwago that night. She was a widow in Enwago, an innocent widow who was simply in need of a man. That man of Aki found her that night and took her all through the night. That man ejaculated in Enwago and he has risen to be a star he is destined to be. He knows everyone who should be known. With ordinary phone call, he will have everything and anything. He parades himself as a man of Enwago, whereas he's a man of Akin. It is the duty of you and your boyfriend, by extension of the youth of Aki, to let him know where his roots is. And that time is now. With all due respect, as a wine, I am just a young woman of Aki. How am I supposed to do the work of men? You have to do it. I have already given you the power. And he will do it. That man is called a Selwenwego of Enwago Kingdom. A Selwenwego of Enwago. I think I've heard that name before. Find him and let him know a man can go any length in life with his ancestors. But when his ancestors abandon him, he will crash. Most times, he will crash to death. In summary, men are nothing without their ancestors. But of all the young maidens that live in Aki, why me? You are privileged because he chose you and he loves you. So you are the only one he listens to. And you are the only one who will ask him to discontinue and he will obey. He will do it, and you will do it with him. The time is now. Clemson is the last person who will entertain talks about the ancestors, gods, goddesses, deities, and what have you. He dismisses them as baseless tales. How in this world will I open up this topic with him? Well, why are you here? What do you have on fire is funny. Oh my God. Hey, don't worry. I already handled it. Thank of you course very you know, much. Of course you know I handled it before coming to you. Thank you, my love. L let me check the extent of the damage. There is no damage. <sighs> why is your face like this? Is there something happening that you're not telling me? I guess I'm just stressed. Stressed? Then it's not a good one. I think I should just uh, call them to book a massage appointment for you. And have you spent the kind of money you spent the last time? No, don't worry, I don't need the massage. I'll be fine. Hey, you need a massage. It brings out the best in my woman. If you can be stressed to the extent of forgetting a pot of rice and fire, then I think you need it. And I will pay. Thank you. But still, you will not spend that money. Instead, let's do something else. Like what? I don't know. Go and eat in Kobe or a batch of something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold it. We'll go, huh? Alright. Let's go get this. Are you equally saying we should fold our hands and watch this men feed on our corporate wealth? You know, you see all this, all this issue, I'm seeing it from a different level. Which level? You are seeing from the peace level, Abby. Eh? Why are you all talking like a bunch of seminarians? Our future is being destroyed and we are doing nothing about it. Chine, look, can you stand before any deity? 
That is, stand before any deity and swear that your future is being destroyed. Give me with. When we meet in Ozum Naga after our main meeting, two people have another meeting after our main meeting. Things are not moving on well, and you're saying all these things. Chinedi, you have a big problem. You will not look problem. Eh? Why are you always sounding as if you know more than every other person? If there is something you know that you do not know, please, can you tell me now? No, no, no. There is no problem, so bad. Eh? You all think Clemson is the man. He knows it all, Avi. There is no problem. I will go to my house eh? and sit down quietly and watch. You see these atlas men, eh? they will soon start selling our land. And I'm sure they will start from your own. By the time they sell your land to make money, your head will come down. And please, nobody should involve me. When you are I'm bound. Eh? Why are our leaders not reading the handwriting on the wall? How are they going to face the angry youths when the time of doom comes? I saw you preparing to go out. As a matter of fact, the fragrance of your perfume is still lingering all over the place. Aren't you going out again? I am. I just wanted to ask you something. Uh, what is it? I'm listening. Uh, Mama, what do you know about Ezewan Yogu? Ezewan Yogu? Why do you ask? Well, nothing. I'm, I'm just curious. I, I just want to know the history of my people. Uh, well, the history of um, Aki Kingdom and other um, towns in Ibo land are well documented. If you want to know about their history, you go and uh, look up articles and history books. And you'll find what you seek. Mama, you know me very well. Do you think I haven't read up on, on the history of Aki Kingdom? I have read books and articles, but the writers seem to be biased. They don't write or they haven't written exactly what transpired. That's why I've resorted to oral documentation. I, I want to know what you know about Eze Wanyo Gogo. Well, you know I'm your grandmother. Whatever information I have about um, Eze Wanyo Gogo will not be of any help to you. I do not seek anything, mother. I just want to know everything you know about Eze Wanyo Gogo. Well, yeah. Oh. Um, from what I know, Ezewan Yogu uh, used to be an ancient deity of Aki Kingdom. But um, when the people sought repentance, they destroyed her shrine, her altar, yes, and said uh, they wanted to embrace a new religion and belief. You know what? No, Rosan. I am not prepared to hold this discussion. You know, when you talk like this, it makes me wonder the kind of Uchi that you are. You are now doubting the validity of my Uchi just because I refuse to associate with the family that destroyed our land. Uchi, <sighs> I don't understand all this. Yes, it was their ancestors that destroyed the altar of the deity, not these young ones. They were not even born by the time this whole thing happened. So why hold them to ransom? It's not fair. You forget that it was still their family members who invited the so-called man of God in the first place. The man who came and defiled Ogugu by setting its altar on fire. Now, if Ogugu is said to be after them, they should go and seek for solution and not involve everyone in a key. But are you saying Ogugu was never destroyed? Ogugu. Who can destroy Ogugu? No, tell me, who can destroy you? These people ran after they introduced religion and discarded the religion of their forefathers. Now, they have run into trouble with others and the Google is said to be the one behind their problems. What does that tell you? That is it, my daughter. The people decided to turn their back on the deity that had been there for them, but then embraced the religion of the white people. 
And to make it worse, they publicly said nasty things and condemned their own deities. But information we think is that the people were not progressing when they served the gods of their ancestors. Ah, lies! Amawasi! They are lying. In those days, our young men were hardworking. Very hardworking. And whenever they needed help and they went to visit Ogu, ah, especially when you come with a clean heart, Ogu would bless you. Unlike these days, look at our youths. Nobody's ready to work hard. They just move around hoping that they will get rich and, 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 and make it. Is it possible when you're not hardworking? Why then did the people allow the altar to be destroyed? Ah, oh, this it. This it, my daughter. Those white people convinced them that there was nothing good about their own deeds. They were deceived. <laughs> they? Mama, you speak as though you are not a part of them. <laughs> are you not a Christian now? Of course I am. Is it because I did not say we? <laughs> I guess you know the answer to that. Uh, anyway, really, I, I don't know why you're suddenly engulfed with this story of food. Uh, you need to be careful. This is your maternal home. My maternal home is more home to me than my personal home. But yes, Mama, I'll be careful. Oh, good. Let me help. Hey, uh, And make sure that, that your perfume doesn't enter the beans. My coach, mm. No, yeah. that one is not rotten. No, put it back. Ah, my lord. Thank God you're here. I'm almost working up the shop. Why? I'm going for youth executive meeting today. Ah, you and this your youth executive meetings all the time. Hey, I came here to discuss something important with you. Oh my love, that's your thing has to wait. Okay, if I settle down now to listen to whatever I have, I will, my, my, my attention will be divided. Okay, don't worry, when I come back, under cold condition, we'll have the discussion. As if I have a choice, just stay careful. Okay? Of course, I'll be careful for you. Huh? Take care of the shop for us, huh? I will. All right, my love. I just hope this opening conversation will not be a problem to our relationship. I hope this meeting will live up to its expectation. What do you mean by live up to expectation? Huh? I mean men who suck wood on their mother's breast will rise above sentiment and face this issue the way it is. Fine, let, let me break it down. If this meeting does not meet up to what I am expecting, I will leave here and not come back again. Chinedu, listen, I don't want to go down that angle with you. Please, let's proceed with the meeting. Um, <clears throat> Mr. President, you this person, I actually agree with you on the proceeding. Hmm? Since we have shared the 30 motorcycles that they brought for the empowerment, we should be discussing on the way forward what happens next. Eh? And I'm also aware, fully aware, that some of us are clamoring for war. I do not subscribe to that though. Mm -mm. But I am saying that we must make a bold statement. However, it must be peaceful. Every peaceful resolution eh, follows a due process. I would say we eat them up with every violent eh, weapons we have. And the offenders will run. By the time they come back, they will come back with a peaceful spirit. That should be our discussion in this meeting. Sometimes you talk as if there cannot be any further development in this kingdom. <laughs> we all are doing something, right? Yes. We all have something doing. Mm -hmm. We're hustlers. We all will be blessed. If not today, but someday. Okay, let's please when will that blessing come tell me when that blessing will come look at other communities around us their young men are doing well they are busy buying millennium cars building state-of-the-art houses but here in Aki our Igwe will buy a motorcycle Okada for us and we will be celebrating Tufi Akwa Chini will be coming down there is still time for the things you seek and the king that you have continued to castigate owe us nothing. Oh, Jai. <laughs> 
a king that cannot use the resources of the land to make wealth for his people. Is that one a king? Look, if the king cannot use our resources well to make wealth for us, he should leave that throne and let me become king. <laughs> Why are you all laughing? You 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 think I can make a king, eh? Chinedu, please, 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 calm down. Calm down? What's all this? Please calm down, let's think of a way forward. Uh, yes, I know things are not going the way we expect them to, but we should peacefully, peacefully look for a way forward and not and not war. We can't achieve anything with violence. That is why you are the president, eh? That is why they will kill to keep you there as a president because they know you always dance to everything they say. But me, it's fine. I'm okay with it. If you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. If you like it, I like it. After all, I'm not poor. I am better than you. You. You speak. Better than you. Um, uh, Glemson. You are the youth president. And I know that the king will summon you to the palace. Please, when you get there, tell him that the youths are angry. It's even better that there is no empowerment. Because this whole empowerment issue is causing a big problem in this kingdom. Well, my advice to the youths, especially the executives, is to always work hard. Yes. You have to work hard, irrespective of whatever empowerment they throw away. You must work hard. Just keep it to yourself and mark it somewhere. One day I will lose it finally eh? and become a one-man riot squad. I will cripple those that need to be crippled and burn those that need to be set up place. Mark it. Look, look, look at this one. Yeah, every time somebody will just be smack and mad at me. You think everything is about size? Try, am, you can't get people here. Am, am. Try, you can't get people here. Calm down. Try me. This empowerment issue has been settled in our last meeting. I don't know why we're talking about it here. Somewhere. By the way, the reason I call this meeting is because of our um, ward councillor's election that is coming up soon. I want it to be a very peaceful one. I don't want any youth of Aki constituting nuisance on that election day. No, I don't want it. I want it to be a peaceful one. And please, I want us all to coordinate this. And who is the Igwe supporting? Why are you asking me that question? How am I supposed to know? No, 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 no. I don't need your answer anymore. I know. I know already. Yeah. I know. How are you? You I'm know a, what I'm you're a, asking I'm me. I'm I'm a, that, 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 that connects. Don't worry. I don't need your answer anymore. Clemson. Chidia. Honestly, I don't know why those guys are angry at the Igwe. Do they expect the Igwe to spoon feed the youth of Aki? I don't, I don't get. I don't understand. Look. Others are not the problem. The problem is Chinedu. I don't know what he has with the king. <laughs> Look at the only interesting and the best young man, hard working. One of the only responsible, best hard working men we have in Aki. Hey! If it's him, how eh? I am very fine and pocketed, as you can see. <laughs> Look, if it's him, must you always drink? Hey, try something doing now. Just get a life. Where is this noise coming from? Who is talking? I am not seeing another person standing here. It is only you, honorable somebody. Can you find me something so that I will get a life and add more of this to myself? <laughs> if you must I do that all the time. Very reliable question from a very credible somebody. I will answer it. You have to do this all the time because this is the only medium, the only thing that connects me to the ancestors. We will be on the same frequency communicating. This poverty frustrating situation is becoming frustrating every day. Hey! It's all right, it's all right, I understand. Um, listen, just make do with this one. <laughs> you, see what, you see what I'm saying? When I say that the, the ghost of our land will bless you, some people will become envious. Did you now see why I say that it is only you who is standing here? May the gods bless you. Not. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh my God! Hey, we idiot! Hey, good. If you see me, see me, you're referring as an idiot. Hey, look at Okay. It is now obvious to me that you are interested in conversation. 
Let me ask you one interesting and honorable question. A hopeless young man who goes about sleeping with all the beautiful and innocent maidens of Aki. How can you qualify that character? Is he not a goat? A he goat! That the character has been devastated and destroyed. A shapeless man. <laughs> Do not provoke me. But I want to sound one warning very clear to you. You see all the girls in my own now. Stay clear. It is a military zone. If you venture into my own now, my contract is on fire. I will destroy your hopeless life that it has no shape. He got. Listen. Anna Boga Abatu. Your real name is Abatu. And from today, as you keep Nabatu, Nere Abatu, your life will never have meaning. So, give him to my honorable friend. My honorable somebody. Give him to the supermarket man that is faithful with one. He's stupid, that way. Magawan Kwam, you keep destroying your life. The ghost of our land will remember you. Do not carry your hopeless life, hopeless destiny around my facility. Come with me in my own number. Hey, hey, is you on start bouncing balls? There's a drunk. No, no, no. This guy is not drunk. He knows what he is doing. <laughs> the Ibezim that we all know might still have his own senses with him, though. But we know he wakes up every morning drunk. He's a drunkard. Hmm. You know, I don't blame him. Yes, if Chinedu sees his life, he will have more points to back up his argument. It depends on what you mean. No, because. It is only poverty and frustration that will make a man to wake up in the morning and start drinking. <laughs> I expected you to be wiser. What do you mean poverty? No, you tell me. Poverty and frustration. What about the drinks he takes? Don't you pay for them? Listen, at some point in our life, we have been frustrated too. Huh? But we didn't turn into drunks. No, look at it now. We are not drunkards. He's just a lazy youth, so you don't blame him. Look, I dislike this guy. I don't like him. I know, I know. But I think you should put what he just said into consideration. You know? You never can tell. He might have a point there. What do you mean? I mean, uh, you're not getting any younger. Yes, at, at this point of your life, you should have a woman of your own. You, someone you all plan in the future. So I, 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 I don't see that in you. I don't see that. So, uh, okay. yeah. so, so you are supporting him? Not really. I'm just talking as a friend. Oh, okay. You know what? This meeting is over. Hey, you okay. What about the money I borrowed yesterday? My money. Thank you. Uh, your friend Viola is not around. Do you know where she went to? Yes, she went to Clemson's uh, supermarket. Oh, okay, ma. We'll check her there. Yes. <laughs> Be quiet. Stay out of trouble. Oh. <laughs> no problem, ma. Yeah, no problem. Well, okay, bye bye. Hey, why you quite no? Why you no? If you no book a leg, chai. I am talking to my to me. Sincerely, I like this woman. Hi. This is the kind of grandmother everybody should pray to have. <laughs> hey, are you serious? And where is this likeness coming from? Her grandchild has a boyfriend. And she has no problem with that. Just see the way she answered us. Mm -hmm. She's at Clemson supermarket. How many women can do that? <gasps> Even your mother that I know is still kicking against your relationship with Bernard. And that is because Bernard is a fool. And why are you even comparing Clemson and that fool? 
Are you serious? Yes. Bernard is a fool. Wait. So you are now lost after Clemson? Nena. Uh, 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 uh. I never told you I'm lost after anybody. But the truth is that mothers see what we don't see. And my mother knows Bernard is a fool who is only looking for a woman to go down with. My dear, Clemson is a responsible man. And there is no family that will not want to have him as an in-law. That's just the difference. <laughs> you see this topic? I will revisit it someday. Bernard is a fool. You just ruined my day now. Must you mention Bernard here? Your Majesty, the youth of Aki are not happy at all. What exactly is the problem? Well, they say the last empowerment uh, is not enough for all. You, know, you see, uh, empowerment cannot be enough for all. Besides, empowerment is not done for once. If they could apply a little patience, more will come. They should be thankful to the king for all he has generously done for them. Go to our neighboring communities. The youth are trying, trying to survive by themselves, making cool money. That is exactly the point. Our youth should be patient. And they should be grateful for the kind of king that they have. Of course. Take, for example, the king of Enuago kingdom. He is by far richer than I am. But how many times has it been heard that he empowered the youths of his place? No. Uh, yes, I, I made them understand that fact. And uh, uh, Your Majesty, the youths of our kingdom must try. They are very hardworking. You know, I advise them that consistency in whatever legitimate that you do is the only key way to success. And that is why I am happy every day that you are the leader of the youth. You're filled with so much wisdom. If someone else were to be the leader or in your position, there would have been crises every day in this kingdom. Now, as a hardworking young man and somebody who is successful in business, I know that uh, you have younger ones that you are planning to train. Yes, Your Majesty. Very well then. Let them follow your footsteps. That way, this kingdom will be developing day by day. You have nothing to worry about. That issue is sorted out already. Oh, good to know you. Good to know you. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. I heard you are planning to give a chieftaincy title to Chief Polikapo Keke of Enuago Kingdom. That is very true. Of course, you know that he is already a titled man in Inuago. Our desire to give him a chieftaincy title is to make him become interested in our kingdom. And he may decide to erect one developmental project here in Aki. That way, this kingdom will be developing by the day. Yes, Your Majesty. But uh, if we give him this title, that will make him become so interested in our kingdom. Yeah, but I think uh, to influence him and make him become interested in our land. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, people of Aki Kingdom from time immemorial have never bestowed a chieftaincy title on anyone who is not from Aki. Mm. You may be right, but the question is, who has that rule helped? Listen to me, my son. Rules are made for the people, and the people can always decide and change them. Chief Polikapo Keke is a very good man and that is the only thing that is important right now. And giving a chieftaincy title to a man of that caliber, a man in the substance of Chief Okeke, does not necessarily mean that it must come from our kingdom here. Let us look at it as we are presenting an award to him. In order to extend what the king has said, this shift and sit title that we were about to confer upon him, we are already guided by administration. So if you just see it as an award of excellence, this is to prepare him to do more for Aki. Exactly the point. But he is not in the country right now. As soon as he returns, I will go and see him. Well, if the king of this great kingdom and you know has uh, approved of this, 
<laughs> who am I? But to pledge my full support to achieving this great goal. That is how leaders talk. Yes. May your days be long. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. I, I will have to take my leave now. <sighs> your Majesty. Igwe. Oh no. Yes. Take care of yourself. Yes. And you see, you see, this is the kind of youth we want in this kingdom. Exactly the point. And I'm going to make sure that he will remain the youth leader for the next 10 years. Huh? <laughs> your Majesty, what are you talking about? And that will mean altering the constitution, trying to amend the constitution. Because the constitution we have already does not allow a youth leader to stay for 10 years. Oh no, I am doing that already. Clemson will stay for another 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, who is that king that wants unnecessary opposition? He will stay. Welcome, my friend. Why haven't you carried out my instructions? I've been looking for the best way to convey the message to him. You have to carry out my instructions immediately. And now, the people of Akiye Kingdom must embrace me. This will return Akiye to the top where he used to be. And this will be called Embrace of Life. It is a tax. As it is, you are withholding the blessings I have for my people. How am I supposed to convey this message to him now? What kind of local problem is this one? I want to talk about Bernard. Hi. Hey. Seriously. So you just halted me here to talk about that fool. Bam. Hey. Since you are seeing him already as a fool, my case is made sharp. I just wanted to tell you to be very careful with that chimpanzee. You are too refined, too beautiful to be seen in the midst of a chimpanzee. <laughs> Wait, wait, eh? It doesn't wait. Can't you stop all these things? Why will I stop? How can I stop advising my people? I am the only one who is always on a different level. I see what no other person is seeing. If I should stop advising them, then Aki is gone. Crippled and destroyed and buried. Oh, Ibezin. I'm not talking about your advice. I'm talking about this old drinking and smoking habit. They are killers, and you are just killing yourself. Eh? Can't you stop all these things? Nena, huh? continue with where you are going. Because right now, what you are saying is what I call off point. How can you advise me to do without my tool of oppression? You see that holy water? That is the only thing that opened my eyes to see what no other person can see. <laughs> And if I should stop taking it, you see Aki gone and destroyed. Anytime you see me saying something on the road, just lay hold on the one that is spectacular with you. Okay. The one that concerns you. And allow me to continue with my smoke and my drink. It is my, my, my means of communication with my ancestor. 
Did you understand it? Well, I give up. But what I know is smoking and drinking are not good. I don't know whether you are wearing clothes, I'll be clothes is wearing you. Uzu you are finished! That is, do you want any time you see me dress like this? I want to go to a rich man's house. And I dress very big because I know very soon I will be very fat. So I will not want to go back to tell her. You see, I just my 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 my, my I just my dress, I just my shirt. No! Nonsense! Take that chimpanzee case very soon. Thank you. Hey! Aki! Darling. Yes, my love. See, this your position as a youth leader is really affecting your business, you know. I don't understand why you keep closing your supermarkets for long hours. I told you, darling, I'm feeling it through myself. You see, I think um, I will get an attendant. Yes. I've thought about it and I think um, this is something I must do. Hmm? Um, let's just hope you don't employ a criminal. Because this shop attendants, they can ruin one's business in no time. Huh. I'll put the person to test. And once I see any wrong signal, hmm, I'll fire the person immediately. Okay, you say so. Yeah. Meanwhile, how's your meeting with the Igwe? It was fine, nothing unusual. It's just that the Igwe is planning on giving a man from Inuago title. Really? When yes. did that start? He made the decision and um, I think he's only trying to get the man's attention with that. You see, so that one way or the other, the man could be helping our community. And he's a very wealthy man, as a matter of fact, a billionaire who really? has the mind of helping people. Really? Mm. Yes. So, what's his line of business? Well, he's an international businessman. Specifically, he's into power generating and distribution. Wow. Yes. Who would have thought that a billionaire existing in Inuabu? <laughs> Yes, they do. Who doesn't know Chief Polika? Okay. Yes, saloon in one. Are you all right, darling? I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm okay. <coughs> why why did you react like that? Do you know him? No, no, no. I don't know him. In fact, I've never met him before. But my love, we need to talk and it's very serious. Okay. You can talk on this then. Okay. Just eat after food, okay? Yeah, I'm done eating. I just want to listen to you. Talk to me. What is it? I don't know how to put it to you. I don't know how to tell you this. How to tell me what it's at me? How to put what to me exactly? Is it one you who appeared to me? What? Honestly, I am disappointed. Why would you have such a pagan belief? As far as I'm concerned, that deity was destroyed many years ago. We can't go back to that era. That's why you have a duty to convince the youth. They need to embrace that era one more time. Do you have a proof? How can I convince a man who everyone knows is from Enuago that he's from Aki? Listen, it is the truth, my love. It is the truth, isn't why your Gugu has appeared to me and told me that the youth of Aki need to embrace her one more time. She calls it the embrace of life and that is the only thing that can restore greatness to this land. Enough of that rubbish! Enough of all this rubbish! Don't ever bring up this topic again in home. First you say she appeared to you in your dreams. Now she's appearing to you in real life. Don't make me believe you are you're, you're, you're spiritually possessed or something. But I am saying the truth. You need to listen to me. Listen. Is the one you go has explained everything to me. I can tell you exactly what she said. She told me what happened. I do not want to hear tales from a goddess reportedly born years ago. Stop this nonsense right now. Fancy. Hey, this woman is going to put me to trouble. Hey, she wants to cost me my relationship. Is the one you go Why? Where are you? Come on, tell this man this thing by yourself. Hey, Clemson. Should I blame him for not listening to me? I can't. I mean, how will a normal human being believe my story? 
Clemson has never raised his voice at me, but today he did. Ezewai has to look for another way to communicate this to the people. I can't do this anymore. You must continue to try. It took them time to convince them to set the altar on fire. But they forget that the effigy on the surface is not a deity. The deity is a spirit and cannot be set on fire. He will continue to talk to him until he listens. I understand everything that you have said. Why don't you just appear to him and tell him what you are telling me? Why do I have to be the one to tell him or explain this to him? You are the chosen one because you're the only one to deliver the message. Do not think you can wish this away. We are friends and friends do not betray each other. I don't know what kind of betrayal this is. Obviously, what I am saying is, why can't you just listen to what I am saying? And who are you talking to? Mama. No, nobody. I was just, um, I was just rehearsing. You know, I, I, I have developed an interest in, in, in acting for films. Are you sure? Yes, Mama. I don't understand you these days. You've been acting strange. How, how, Mama? You ask me how. I mean, look at you. It's obvious you're frightened. Oh, no. Mama, it's the character. The character is supposed to look frightened. Please, don't tell me about the character. Are you having issues with Clemson? Ah, no, 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 Mama. No, no. So what exactly is going on? I mean, you've been acting like someone that is possessed. The other day, you were asking questions about S and Y, a story that doesn't concern you. Mama, there's really nothing wrong in a young woman trying to find out everything about her maternal home. You told me everything you know, and, and I'm happy with it. Don't come up with these excuses. I can't buy them. Listen, my daughter, if there's something wrong, why don't you talk about it so we can find a solution to it? Yes, Mama. Oh my goodness, so it's this obvious. Everyone thinks I am possessed. How best will I handle this? <laughs> this one is okay for you. That will destroy your system. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, 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 Thank you because you are a good man. And any time I want to go to a good man and a big man's house, <laughs> I will always dress like a big man, like <laughs> I can see that. And I must also tell you that this missing warning, without looking deeply, deep, down, down, is very wrong. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Your Uma told you something that I see that is very serious. Men who are men, real men, men that are men inside men, men that are pocketed, live by nesting men. Men who are nothing, don't rest. If I name them, even more. If I name them, even more. But I must say thank you very much for this wonderful drink. <laughs> Today is already good. Hmm? But you will make your life better. If you start listening to Viola, Viola, the Vomo de la Vu, the Viola, the highest level, the Viola that we move your life from zero to seven. Listen to her. There is something about this man. Baby, digging it with Clemson, the hard worker. 
What oh, kind of Britain this morning? Babe, not so. I'm good. No, you don't look good. See your face so dull. I said I am good. Okay. Make always man look at the guy woman. You two are up to something mischievous. Which one is Mama Nuku the guy woman? The only yes. Mama Nuku the guy woman who allow her daughter to be free with her man. Mama Nuku be that. You girls are here. Mama, good morning. Yeah, yeah, morning, 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 my girls. Good morning. You're welcome. I'm going to the market. Mama, why didn't you send Viola? But I want to go by myself. There are some things I will price that Viola would not be able to price. We will go from candy young girls. <laughs> oh, by the way, Bikono, I need you people to talk to Viola. Find out what her problem is because I've been asking her. She has not told me, but I believe she will confide in you people. Mama, eh? what's that supposed to mean now? Mama, no, but I say, look at you, always frowning. Any way, eh? Better talk to your friends or since you don't want to talk to me. Mama, come on, keep dying in silence, sir. Apukwam, eh? Biko, in case you're going out, lock up. I have my keys. Now from. Bye, Mama. Oh no. Come. What's your problem? Why are you stressing our Mama Nuku now? Please go and sit down. Sit that chair there. Sit there and wait for me. Ah, take it easy now. Why are you sweeping this long me now? Ah. Need to listen to me. Listen, is the one you go has explained everything to me. I can tell you exactly what she said. She told me what happened. This is Aaron's nonsense. Why am I even thinking about this? So can you talk to us now? What has been bothering you? Please don't tell me you girls believed what Mama said about something being the problem. You are not getting it, dear friend. You can hide things from us, but you cannot hide anything from Grandma. She is old enough to be certain about what she has noticed. Besides, we are not even happy with you at all. When last did you come to check on us? We came to Clemson's shop the other day to meet you talking to yourself. You didn't even notice when we entered. Wait a minute. Is Clemson the problem? Did you guys have any issues? We're absolutely fine. There's no problem. We, we have no issues. Talk to us now. Look at your face. You're not even lively anymore. Ha, must I be lively all the time? Nembiko, leave her alone. Since she insists she's fine, let us believe she's perfectly okay. Okay, I give up. So what's the gist? There's no gist. When you ladies are ready, I will see you off. I will go and see Clemson afterwards. Are you chasing us? Yeah. yeah I'm not ready to go yet. Why? Zed. I may get us something to eat. Ah, oh, you girls are impossible. Where are you going? To get you something to eat now. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Where are you, Oma? <laughs> So I allow her to tell us when she's ready. And me, I'm hungry. What's the mean of all this? I don't understand why I cannot discuss with you without you raising your voice. Can't I discuss something important with my man? Are you not my man again? There's nothing important here. You're making me raise my, my, my voice for nothing. I have told you I do not believe in all those things. Aki has gone past the era of darkness. That's where you're getting it all wrong. I don't even believe Why I... then are we having this discussion then, then with Viola? Now tell me, why are you making it look as if we're quarreling? We're not quarreling. And by the grace of God, we will not quarrel. Eh? Hey, but you have to reason with me a little bit on this now. Why? I love you so much and I do not want to lose you. Why are you talking about things that we have already forgotten? <laughs> that is a problem. 
We have forgotten, but they have refused to forget us. Them? Ogugo, the deity of peace and prosperity. The reason we had financial equilibrium in this land in the first place, the youths have shot themselves in the foot by destroying the altar of Ogugo. Oh my God, the one I call my woman is finally the voice of Ogugo. Did you hear yourself speak, darling? Did you hear yourself speak? Talking about a deity, like you believe them. It is upon you and the youths of Aki to go to a Seluenwego of Enuago and tell him that he is a part of us. He is a star that was promised to us. He is the one that will bring about peace, prosperity and financial equilibrium to this land. He was our gift before he was ejaculated to somewhere else. Viola, you finally lost it. No, I haven't lost it. Please just go ahead and tell him. Go and tell him that he is a part of us. How do you want me to go to a man who has lived all his life in Enuagu and tell him that he belongs to Aki? What am I supposed to tell him? That one deity or whatever said so? What's going on? Where is the proof? My lord, just do as I have said. Just, just try. Just, just go. And you listen. Don't you ever bring up this topic around me again. Else, I will call off the engagement. What? Yes. So you heard me. I never wanted to do this, but you pushed me to the wall. Very well then. Viola. Forget everything. Do not forget that nothing good comes easy. But this whole thing is already costing me my relationship. It's already going bad for me. You both are destined to be together. You are chosen specially for this assignment. Despite the fact you're not a woman of Aki, but you have a golden heart and a true love for a man of Aki, a man who is most loved by the gods for his boldness and good intentions to the community. So what do I do now, is it why? Do not relent, for Ogubu is with you. God is well. <laughs> I'm not here for you to offer me anything. I know you'll be out for your business early, so I came here to see you, to discuss something with you. Okay, um, I'm listening, I'm here. Are you aware that the Igwe wants to give a man from Enuago a title? I'm aware of that. So what's your opinion? Opinion? <laughs> My friend, I have no opinion towards that. I am very sure the Igwe has already made up his mind. Hmm? Why would the Igwe want to give a title to a man that is not from this land? Why? I see nothing wrong with that. It's just like giving an award to a man for who he is or what he represents. What does he represent? What has he done for our people? Tell me. You see, I... I know how Igwe is a very wise man. And I'm sure giving him that title will at least draw his attention closer to us. I'm not comfortable at all. And I think as the youth leader, there are some things you should object to, not just accept everything open handedly now. Object? Tine, do object? Mm -hmm. Why do you like making a force out of nothing? Listen, if you think I'm not doing my job well as a youth leader, you can as well come and take the position. I don't care. That's not what I mean. 
I'm only concerned. And I want things to be done the right way. That's all. Is that too much? Is that how to show concern? Listen, let me just get you something because I'm already late for for what happening is it? Viola, what's the matter with you? I've been standing here for a while now and you didn't even notice. Mama, I thought you were still sleeping. I thought I was still sleeping. What is the matter? Are you having any problems with uh, Clemson? If you are, let me send for him. Mama, why do you want to send for him? We don't have any problems. We're fine. Viola, it's obvious something is wrong. I can tell there's a problem. You're not usually like this. Talk to me, what, what's going on? Mama, there's nothing wrong. Maybe it's my period. Your period? You don't even go there. I know when your period started and I know when it ended. So I can have my period. Talk to me, what is the problem? Kama, kiss your own one, you can watch. So I, I don't understand what's going on. By this time, you're usually around Clemson. Kelly, for what is going on? Really, I've always encouraged you to see him, so why the sudden change? Mama, I've told you time and time again, I'm okay. I'm perfectly okay. Nothing is wrong. Mm. Yes, Mama. Okay. I want to go and meet those people that are supposed to cultivate my farm. Eh? I won't stay long. Before I come back, make sure you cook. Also, I know about Kwedi Luna. Can I go go on my back? I'm on, I'm coming. something that I see that is very serious. Men who are men. Real men. Men that are men inside men. Men that are pocketed. Live by nesting men. Men who are nothing. Don't rest. If I never with even more. Even in an name, even more. But I must say thank you very much for this wonderful drink. <laughs> Today is already good. Hmm? But you will make your life better. If you start listening to Viola, Viola, the Vovo de la Vu, the Viola, the highest level, the Viola that will move your life from zero to seven. And why am I here remembering the words of a drunk?
What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Well, I came here to find out if your madness has ended. But from what I'm seeing, you're still on it. Well, I'm not insane. Rather, you are the one being unreasonable. Bula, why are you bent on destroying what we share? Why? You know what? You have to choose between I, this relationship and what you believe about the deity. I never wish to be in this kind of situation, especially with the one woman I wish to share this world with. Sooner or later, you realize that all this will not help you. You need to save the land. He belongs to this land and you alone can tell him that. You've allowed yourself to be deeply possessed, Viola. It's so unfortunate. And you have refused to listen to the voice of peace and prosperity. this morning okay it's obvious you've had your your normal alcohol that same morning, alcohol. breakfast eh? breakfast that same alcohol you gifted in me you the leader listen man like you need men like us in business when are you inviting me to your meeting as president emeritus of the youth when Inviting you to that meeting will be a huge mistake. We'll end up doing nothing. The land I asked you to cultivate, that land, is still uncultivated. Is it that you do not have hole to But if you do not have, do not bother. I will give you one. You need to be very fast in cultivating that land before another person, before another man will cultivate it for you. What are you talking about, Ibezim? What land are you talking about? You've never asked me to cultivate any land. Listen, this supermarket man, you know everything, and everything knows you. Listen, do not allow me to call you Christian the Kai Kai, the, the Kai Kai, the, the, the Christian the Kai Kai. But I will not call you because you are my credible youth leader. Christian, credible youth leader. Yes. Chinedu, what is wrong with you? Eh? You like dragging unnecessary matters. Leave the Igwe to give the title to whoever he wants to. Mm -hmm. eh? Look, Clemson is not here. You know, go to allow us to have this meeting in peace. Save us this your pointless arguments. I'm in support of that. Yes. This shouldn't be our problem. I believe there is something wrong somewhere. How many youths from Aki has he given a title to? Hmm? How many has he reached out to? Uh, 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 see, Chinedu, Chinedu, what you're saying is entirely different from what we are saying. We are talking of a multi billionaire here. A billionaire from Enuago. How many billionaires do we have here in Aki? Why are you not seeing things you I'm seeing it? Why are you making it look like I'm a troublemaker? Are you not? Yes, no. Look, Chinedu, if you are dreaming to be like Chief Polycap, then you have to work hard. Yes, you are not even up to his age. Youths are supposed to work hard. Mm -hmm. The fact that your business failed and your current business is not yielding enough capital does not mean something is wrong. Bro, if it is not working for you in this kingdom, go to the city and hustle like your mates. How many youths have the opportunity to go to the city? How many? Look, there is nothing wrong with us. Hmm? We still have youths in this kingdom that have money. They may not be massively rich. Eh? So please, 
Save us this your pointless and baseless arguments. Can you win at the next argue, uh, agenda? Because can I go with you? The last thing I'll ever do is to go consult a drunk. What is said are meaningless. And the earlier I understand that, the better for me. But are they really meaningless? Why are you caging yourself into a dilemma? Your heart is talking to you. Listen to your own heart, please. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to understand. Why are you always opposing? Eh? Don't make the people to start seeing you as the problem. Oh. What are you trying to say? Hmm? If I see the truth, I should not say it. I should shield it like all of you. No, I'm not saying you should. Uh, if you see the truth now, you say it. But see, eh? You finding loophole in everything we are doing mm. is what I do not like. Mm -mm. Must you find loophole? Mm -mm. You are wrong to say I'm finding loopholes. See, the loopholes are everywhere for everybody to see already. Eh? Why is giving a stranger tied to our headache in this community? Is that our problem now? See, uh, I'm sure the king is trying to solve our problems by giving that chieftaincy. I do not. Try. See, the more I look at this thing, eh, the more it dawns on me that the king is part of our problem in this kingdom. What are you saying? That the king is our problem. Is the king the person that asks the youth of this kingdom not to be working very hard in order to make it in life? See, there are sacrifices that the king could have done and things will start moving in this kingdom. But he has refused to do them now. Sacrifice. And that is now telling me that he knows what is wrong with us in this kingdom. Sacrifices. Uh -huh. See, let me tell you something. If by sacrifices or by sacrifice you mean human sacrifice, count me out. I come out on count. Human sacrifice. Where, where are you today? Eh? You are jobless and useless like the other young men. Look, instead of us pretending that everything is okay in this kingdom, let us face the truth and look for the solution. Solution? Which is? Why am I following this fool up and down? This guy, this guy, this guy has problem. How far now? You were not at the meeting today. Yes, I'm busy. You don't sound happy. Is everything okay? I'm fine. I'm just stressed. Well, nothing much. Uh, just that this, this chief polycap issue is about causing problem among the youths. Well, that's a problem. I don't. I don't want to talk about this, please. Uh, okay. Well, I can see you're not in the mood. I'll see you later with that now. You just spot, please. Oh, well, uh, you'll be. To be rich is good. Eh, yeah, we didn't know that before. <laughs> The young billionaire from Enuagu, everyone is trying to get his attention. Even the Igwe is trying to draw his attention in this community. Are you talking about that man? Do you know him? Of course now. <laughs> Not even do I know him, but we both know him. Me. I've never met him before. Ah, uh, uh, Viola. Of course now. Sometime last month when we were heading to the market, one fine car stopped for us. And you're sure I was the one with you? Viola, are you serious? <laughs> but I was with you that day. I went to greet him and he continued. That man, that man is called Eselu Enuego in Enuagu. Eh? Yes. Wow. But, I mean, I'm right though. Since I didn't go to meet him, that means I don't know him. But I was with you that day. Uh, uh, but I didn't greet him, so I don't know him. I was with you. You, you, you keep on forgetting things. Eh? Is it by force to know this? So I brain. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I should write you a letter to bring this to your notice. Oh yes, I thought as much. And that is why I am curious as to the reason you decided to come in person. Well, we have made the consultations and we have been directed to give you this chieftaincy. 
We have this feeling that it is connected to something we don't know. When ministrations like this come, a king who is worthy of his ancestral stool must not downplay that. Okay, I think I, I understand that. And I can equally say I know what it means. If you have taken a decision on this, trust me, I will not turn you down. I will not. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chiu KK. A date will be named for this when the council meet, and you will be communicated properly. Thank you very much, Onyeze. My house is always open. Anytime the information arrives on the exact date of the installation of this shift and see. Let me know and I'm going to make myself available with my very humble entourage. Thank you once again. You're welcome, Nyeza. <laughs> my daughter, please come in. Come <laughs> in. Come <laughs> <Please. laughs> I've really missed you. I've missed you all. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, it's been a while. So how have you been? I've been good. I've been great. I mean, my... You've been taking good care of me. Mama, yes, dear. I've been Mama, I want to rush to the market to buy Otazi. I want to make you something special. <laughs> she always has a way of making me feel special. <laughs> but you're special. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's something I want to do for the rest of my life because you are indeed very special. Uh, See? Oh, oh, oh. All right. Um, I have what has No, you have dried ones. Oh. I want fresh ones. Uh, oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. All right. Bye-bye, ma'am. Take care of yourself. Bye -bye. Be good, eh? Okay. Who is she? You don't remember her? Ego's daughter. Eh? I have a man. <laughs> I used to know her when she was a She child. has grown up. She has grown. Do you know if I see her on the way, I will pass her. Ah, well, let go. She has grown. Hey. Oh. And she's such a wonderful child. She's so pretty. I know. I, both of you will make good friends. I know that. Uh, like everybody loves, loves her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. God bother. So, where have you been? <laughs> you know how the country is. I had to run to the UK to rest. So. Oh. I, I actually came in last month. Oh, wow. But today I just woke up and decided that I must see you. <laughs> well, thanks for having me in mind. I have you in mind always. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, let me get you something to eat. Abacha, I know Abacha is your favorite. Mm -hmm. Godmother Chen, it was in my presence that somebody said that preparing something special. She went to market to buy your thousand, remember? Hey. I'm waiting for that something special, Lou. I really give you. I really don't go to come. No problem. No problem. She's a fantastic cook. Really? Chai. Let me She's so pretty. She she is. Is. She's so pretty. 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 She's so I know you are somebody that is very outspoken. What is keeping you from talking to me? Should you not talk to me? It's we win a win. I am very, very angry. Hi! I can see that already on your face. It is reading bodily. But I am pleading with you to please calm down. You see this high blood pressure that is killing everybody from different places to another. It is 100 percent real. But I will ask you to please calm down. Because one of the causes that lead to high blood pressure is uncontrollable anger. Why will high blood pressure kill me? Hmm? Why will it kill me? Why will it kill me? It will kill you it because will not kill me. you don't control your anger. It will kill all those people that know that we can solve this problem and have refused to solve it. <laughs> they are the ones it will kill. From <laughs> Jenna, do the wise man. People like who? I am not going to mention any name. Eh? You will not make me mention names, but they know themselves. Mm. <laughs> they know themselves. You know one thing I love about you. I like you very much because you vehemently voice out your opinion without considering who is happy or not. Jenna, do you are very good in speaking your mind, but I know. That when the money comes, you'll be part of the sharing. 
Which one? <laughs> the man! <laughs> Which Roman. one? Free part of it! Roman! I don't know! Roman, free part of the shell! Tell me, look at your beard! Break down the anger okay. before you become hungry! Not first! Mama, yes. Who was that woman that came visiting yesterday? Oh, Mrs. Duke. <laughs> She's like a goddaughter to me. Yeah. That girl has always loved me from when she was young. Her mother was my very good friend. I don't know why good people have to die early. How come you never mentioned her before now? Oh, that's because she hasn't visited in a long while. She told me she's been out of the country. She's really a big woman. <laughs> oh, yes, she's very rich. You don't need to tell me, Mama. It's written all over her. <laughs> hey, I don't see anything written all over her. If you're fine. <laughs> I don't mean it that way, Mama. You know, she just strikes me like a complete woman. <laughs> I like that. Complete woman. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry, Mom. I don't understand what is going on here. What is going on where? Mother, it's me, Ogoni. Your son's fiancé. What is going on? What have I done to warrant all this treatment? Ogoni. Obviously, you came to look for my son. But he is not around. So what are you still doing standing here? Won't you go to your own home? Eh? Mother, I'm confused. Have I done anything wrong to warrant all this treatment? Hmm. Nah. There must be a reason why my son has not married you up till now. Over the years that you have been together. There must be something in you. Huh. Anyway, my son has moved on with his life. So I suggest you do the same. Move on. What do you mean, mother? You mean Samson has found another woman? How? Why? Ajuju, <laughs> drum cancer. Listen, when you finish standing here, use the gate, it's open. Rubbish. It's me, Ogonne. Hello, Mom. Hi, son. Welcome back. Yes, hope you didn't miss me much. Of course, I missed you. Where have you been? Hanging out with my friends. Ah, okay, so go freshen up while I get you something to eat. All right, Mom. And so, I have something to tell you. All right, I'm all ears. I met this damsel, and I want to introduce her to you. And what makes you think I want to discuss that with you? Trust me on this one, son. If you meet this lady I'm talking about, you'll fall for her. All right, we'll discuss that later, okay? All right. Thank Don't you. freshen up. All
How do I explain this to the people of Akini? How do I explain to them that their gift of a star is an Enwago? And you still tell me everything is alright. What is wrong with you? Nothing, Mama. The food will soon be ready. Which food will be ready? You've already burnt the obono that I, I, I wanted to eat. It's not that bad, Mama. I, I'll sort it out. Welcome, Mama. Yeah, <laughs> to show you that there's no poison. Ah, ah. Hey, hey. Hey. I'm sorry, you should be doing it. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, thank you. Hi. Hey. <laughs> uh, Godmother, I was thinking that uh, your granddaughter will come and say hello to us. Viola. Yes. Well, let me call her. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. Hey. Mm. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, my girl. How are you? Fine, thank you. That's my daughter. Mm. Ne, what is that your name again? Oh, my, my name is Viola. Viola. Beautiful name. Ne, how are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Um, my goddaughter. It's two aside. Let, let me see you. Two aside. Right. Oh. My god daughter, mm -hmm. what is going on? I don't understand the question, ma. I didn't like the way your son was looking at my daughter. Oh, that. Uh, I am very sorry. I should have discussed this with you before you brought me out here. After seeing your daughter that day, I liked her. And I discussed her with my son. Yeah, but you should have discussed with me first now. That's why I said I'm sorry. Yeah? I just brought him here to see if both of them meet, whether they would like each other. From what I'm seeing, I'm sure my son likes her already. My daughter is already engaged. I'm sorry to disappoint you. She's engaged. She's not married. Oh, is she? 
No, not yet. Uh -huh. mm. Allow my son to try his luck. Who knows? <laughs> Anything can happen. Oh. You don't want us to cement this relationship. No, 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 no. I want mm. us to cement it. Yes. But you got warning your son the way he was looking at her. Yeah, his blood is hot now. What are you saying? Is she not the young man? And your daughter. Your oh. granddaughter is pretty. That's why she ran away. <laughs> You need to let him know. I should be the one to tell him. How am I supposed to do that? You will do it however you wish to do it. Tell him where his root is and you must do it immediately. But you are the one who can reappear and appear at will. Why don't you just appear to him and tell him this? I mean, it will mean so much more coming from you. If I do the work my friends are supposed to do for me, how then are they my friends? But think about this. How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed Hey, what's up? I'm good. Why were you looking lost? Lost? I, <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> because we passed through this supermarket and you weren't there. So we figured you would be home. What happened? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, come off it. Uh, this you're not in no balance at all. I beg just thought what's going on. Maybe I say so far, no get work. Because if I get work, this is one of the talk now, and I don't go talk them again. <laughs> Meanwhile, who witnessed the chieftaincy of Eselune Nuevo? <laughs> <laughs> what's our business with chieftaincy? Please, we know nothing about that. Hmm. My dear, speak for yourself because this one here. I'm sure she knows chief's house in Inwang. <laughs> See, see, I don't like this thing you're saying. <laughs> I mean, is there anyone who doesn't know Chief Polika Okeke's mansion? In any one go? Oh, dear. <laughs> Come, let's cook. <laughs> oh, so you know this. Why wouldn't I know this? Mm -hmm. I don't dare now. Come and put the firewood for me. And then you will sit down. One problem I have with most women is the inability to understand small things. Yes, for the fact you have been calling me for some days now and I have not been taking your calls, should have told you something. Yes. You know, when your mom told me about this, I thought she was joking. Now you know I'm not joking. I have decided to move on with my life. Yes, stop dragging me back, please. What is it? Can I at least know what is my offense? I never, said, I never said you did anything. Yes, I met someone that impressed me with things you don't have. Why are you finding it so difficult to understand? Why? This is not you, Samson. We have come a long way for you to just throw everything just because you met a new girl. A girl that you don't even know. Yes, I may not know her. Yes. But when I finally met her, I knew she's the one. Please, I beg you in the name of anything you believe in. Move on with your life. Yes, it's obvious it's not going to work between both of us again. Yes, please accept it. Please. <sighs> Mom, I never knew this girl. You saw her and liked her for me. And when I met her, I found out that she's a bomb. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> you think it's that easy? Huh? Do you know what I discussed with her grandmother when we went out? That was because you told me that it has nothing to do with me. So now are you trying to tell me that the two aside was for me? I saw the look in your eyes when she walked in. And I knew you had fallen for her. My son, we have to take it gradually. That girl is something else. She possesses everything man needs in a woman. I know that. I know. But we'll go one step at a time. Okay? You mean to tell me you don't know why they were here? How will I know, Mama? I just didn't like the way her son was looking at me. How was he looking at you? He was obviously lost in after me. <laughs> well, his mother said that he likes you. So probably that's why he was looking at you in that manner. Mama, I hope you're not encouraging them. I am engaged. I hope you told them that. I didn't tell them anything. Why would I tell them when I'm not even sure myself? What does that mean? Are you still engaged? What sort of question is that, Mama? 
No, because it's obvious that there's some misunderstanding between both of you. All I'm waiting for now is for the engagement to be called off officially. Mama, everything will be fine. It's just a little misunderstanding. Ah, for the first time you admit that there's a misunderstanding. <laughs> Mama, please, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I don't have the energy for all these things. So just tell your goddaughter that I don't want. Uh, you'll tell her yourself. Hey, Jeremiah, I'm okay. Where? Hmm? I'm not your mom, please. Do you want to eat? With this kind of face, what would you cook for me? It would be one year. Going this early. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see Clemson. I need to help him out. He needs to go to the market. But you didn't tell me you were going to see him. Don't you know if I'd come back and I hadn't seen you, I would have been worried. Eh? Besides, if you knew you were going to see Clemson, you should have woken up early to take care of the chores. I'm sorry, Mama. But at least I swept the compound. I'll come back early enough to do them. Okay. Be careful. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Good afternoon. How can I help you? My name is Biola. I'm from Aki. I'm here to see Chief. I have a very important message to deliver to him. Okay. Wait there. At least I've tried my best. Well, at least if I don't get to see him, it's the one you can see that I have tried my best. I hope you can see me. Oh. See me. I'm here. I'm waiting for him. Come. You have done your best. But your best is not good enough. It is no longer your fault. But she is also doing her best. But you are the one that is making things difficult for her. What are you talking about, Ibisu? I hope you are not in the club. In the group of those. Who do loves? Who will not marry any on any girl until she's pregnant for them? Why have you not married her? So it's my woman you're talking about. <sighs> Don't even go there. Because I and Viola has not even come together as man and woman. So you should get that thought about pregnancy out of your head. You say when I say that you are the only honorable somebody. The only honorable somebody. If it were those useless boys who elephant left and right of this community, they would have loaded the, 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 the babe with over overdue pregnancy before they would tell her they were married. Talk of marriage. Hey! So, so why is it that you have not married her? Unfortunately, I don't see I and Viola happening. Yes, because she's beginning to dabble into areas I permanently abhor. Abhor? Is it that ab abhor? Ibo Chanya, Inataba, you and Viola has happened already. You have married her already. I will tell you in confidence that it have happened. But I will explain more when time comes. When the time comes. We all are the food the highest level. We have, in fact, wait a minute. 
Did you say X and Y and you? Yes. Who are you, please? And how did you find your way into my living room? How come nobody told me a visitor is waiting for me? Who are you? Are you scared? Woman, that is not the point. The point is that I can't remember ever meeting someone like you. And I have no appointment with you. And from what I'm seeing, from your look, and the aura that is radiating from you, it is so obvious that you are not a normal human. And I'm asking you, to what do I owe this visit? I am Ezenwan Yogugu. The one that blessed you your handwork beyond abundance. I am that force that prepares you. I am the one that made you prosperous amongst most of your peers. Do not forget your root. I repeat, do not forget your root. What is my business with Ezemanyo? Can you can you go somewhere and listen? What exactly did that woman say to you? She said that you were fathered by a man of Akiva. You were meant to grow and be prosperous. And through you, the youth of Aki will be successful. You are what she referred to as a gift of a star. You know, that woman once paid me an unscheduled visit here. And when she left, I realized that not even one person knew that a, a visitor came. That was when I realized that indeed, she, she's not an ordinary human being. But I decided to ignore what she said because it wasn't making any sense to me. But listening to you now, I am beginning to feel that she spoke the truth, that I have to trace my route. Please, sir, you have to return to Aki. The people need you. The youth need you. And through you, they will unlock the secret to wealth. But let us look at this properly, young woman. From every single thing that you have explained, now, I mean, from all that happened already, don't you think that the people of Aki are the ones who need me? They should be the ones coming for me and not the other way around. I sense pride beneath your voice, sir. And with all that has been happening, there is no room for pride. A key is a whole kingdom. A kingdom cannot come to you. You need to go to them. Leave your phone number with my good man. Most likely, I will call you. I don't know if you're thinking what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Viola is seeing another man. Oh, come on, Nina. Why do you always think the worst for her? Why would you even say that? 
but you just heard her grandmother. She told the poor woman that she went to Clemson's shop, but that was the first place we visited and Clemson told us she's at home. Where then is Viola? Can't you put the puzzle together? I see no puzzle here. For all we know, she could be somewhere doing something to better her life. The life of a woman does not revolve around men. <laughs> Always know that. <laughs> well, you can stand there and, and give it the interpretation that suits you. Me, I know what I know. Oh. <laughs> this is so funny. Chief Raymond, this is not funny. I am very serious. What are you saying? That some woman appeared to you and said this nonsense? What did you say she introduced herself as? Listen, her name is Ezemwa Nyogoku, a goddess. Have you heard that before? Of course not. I have never heard it anyway. I am sure it's just a uh, mere imagination or something, or maybe you just woke up from a dream. You know what? You are not even helping matters at all. So I think you just drink. Please. You know, I have lived all my life in the United States. I don't believe in this goddess and goddesses nonsense. Uh, I, I'm sure you will get over it. Maybe just uh, it made imaginations. Now, Chief Raymond, let me just say this. Whether you believe them or not makes no sense that you lived all your life in the United States. So what? All these things that we dismiss, that you don't believe in them, they exist and they have direct relevance in the lives of the people. Okay? My friend, some demons have perfected plans to pull you down. They are the ones behind all this. I will advise you to avoid them before your business associates will start running away from you. This is what their plan is all about. And at the end, you will only discover you are alone by yourself. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are the one who is alone, even as you are standing now. My friend, take my advice. You have no advice. Viola, where are you coming from? Why are you angry, mother? Don't, don't mother me, all right? Do not. How can a responsible girl like you leave her house very early in the morning, claiming to go and see Clemson, only for me to learn that you were never with him? I ask once again, where did you go to? Mama, I, I went somewhere very important, but I, I, I promise it will not happen again. I didn't know that I'll be this late. You know these things happen when you're when you're confused. Look at your line of argument. When you're confused, what are you talking about? Eh? I mean, how can a responsible young girl like you leave her house early in the morning to meet up with a man for God knows for whatever reason, and then you come back by this time of the day? Mama, why are you talking like this now? You you know I didn't go to meet any man. I don't know you anymore, my dear. You're not the girl I used to know. I'm sorry, Mama. Is that not the man that you started seeing that is making you avoid Clem? Mama, I've not seen any man. You should trust me. My dear, you brought in Clem into this house. I met him. I liked him. I accepted him. I don't even know why he has not bothered to come and pay your bride price. Are you tired of me? Oh, don't. Don't even go there. Don't put words into my mouth. All right? What is the matter with you? Listen, if it's no longer working between you and Claire, then why don't you think of Saxon, Mrs. Duke's son? He's good. I don't want you bringing in any nonsense man into this house. I talk about working in with Isino now. And don't, don't. No, 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 no. Don't go cheering at me, all right? Because when you start pouting, I, I know what it means. How I wish I can tell her what's going on. I am Ezawan Yoguko, the one that blessed you, your handwork beyond abundance. 
I am that force that propels you. I am the one that made you prosperous amongst most of your peers. Do not forget your root. I repeat, do not forget your root. She said that you were fathered by a man of a key. You were meant to grow and be prosperous. And through you, the youth of Aki will be successful. You are what she referred to as the gift of a star. Put a smile on your face. We're not fighting. I never said we were. But your incontinence implies that. Why are you here? I am here to talk to you. If possible, hang out with you. I'm sorry. I... Please. I won't hurt. And I won't bite. And that's supposed to be funny? Not exactly. I am wondering if I could take you out of this compound to a place with compelling ambience to know you more but you already know me i am the granddaughter to your mother's friend not the kind of knowing i'm talking about allow me get close to you and you will discover i'm a good friend Her. You have seen the one she has been going to see. Oh, please, Nina, don't rush into conclusion because we heard nothing. Yes, we saw her standing and talking to a man, but it's possible the man was just trying to woo her. I mean, we ladies get wooed by different men every day. <sighs> You're still defending the impossible. The man already has an understanding with her. That's why he went to our compound to see her. Well, me, I'm going to tell Clemson what I saw. My mom actually informed me about you because she knows the kind of woman I want. And when I saw you, I liked you. Yes. So please, you are the kind of woman I want in my life. Well, let's get down to the specifics. I already knew your intentions before now. Oh, is that the reason why you have been giving me cold reaction? Not necessarily. But I cannot grant your request. Why? Because I am engaged. My heart belongs to another. All right, but we can still work something out. Please. Who knows? I can be a better person. Please, I can't. And please don't pester me about this anymore. I may not grant you audience next time if you strike me like someone who doesn't respect other people's decisions. All right, all right. But well, promise me you will think about it. There's nothing to think about. I have to go now. Wonder shall never end. Wonders about what? What are you two talking about? So this is it. What happens to Clemson? This is the reason you have been avoiding us, right? Listen, I am not in the mood for this. You two need to stop. I really don't have time. For goodness sake, here she goes again. Always not in the mood for anything anymore. Anyways, we are not here for you to be in the mood. We are just passing by and we decided to say hello. 
And who says I was here for you to come and say hello to me? Okay. Maybe you can say concerned friends have been keeping watch over their friend. You know what? Whenever you're ready to talk to us as friends, you know where to find us. Please, let's go. Good! I'm just wondering why you change all of a sudden. Is that guy the reason you cooked up all of those stories? You could have at least taken responsibility as a man and as a youth leader of Aki, instead of just calling off our relationship. Well, I'm not bothered. I'm just wondering. Let's even assume I cooked up stories. So the only decision you could take as a seasoned businessman and as a leader of the youth of Aki was to call off our engagement? I don't have time for all of this. And you know exactly what happened. Neither do I have time for you until you do the needful. Listen, Clemson, you think you're rich and comfortable? But you are just like every youth in Aki. You see, that man is not just the gift of a star, but he's the man with the key to the secret of wealth. You don't have to just be rich and comfortable. You can be wealthy, but you have to do what you have to do. Excuse me. And what is wrong with her? Everybody's just getting me angry. Oh, how do you mean everybody? Everybody as in everybody. Who and who has been angry? Including me. No, Mama. No. Sam, Samson, Clemson, Ada and Nenna. All of them are annoying you. Yes, Mama. What, what did they do? Don't worry about it, Mama. You don't want to talk about it. When a creepy seller is making jest of the seller of a fried pepper, one warm up. Are they not in the same line of business in the same market? Hmm? <laughs> Could this be why you hotted me here? To talk about crayfish and pepper. Look, be very careful, person. Be very careful. You are the one that needs to be very careful. Because you are treading on a graded path that will soon destroy you. Stop making a decision against that star girl. Because very soon, you will land yourself into trouble that there will be nobody, nobody to help you. Go home and break it down. Go home and bring it down. 
What are you even talking about? Who is this tag girl? <laughs> she did not know the tag girl. <laughs> okay now. You don't know the tag girl. Then you must be hopeless. Process. 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 Oh yeah, Allah. Is the mere fact that you came to my place to make this inquiry gladdens my heart. Deja. Is the one you Google. Is the goddess of the people of Aki. A goddess of peace and prosperity. Until the people of Aki decided to destroy her by setting fire on her altar. So if she has been destroyed, like you said, why is she still making appearances? Or are you confirming to me she's not the one who has been making the appearances? Let me ask you. Do men actually destroy deities? I can't understand. I'm confused. They will only set fire on the fiji's of a deity, saying they have destroyed the deity. Deities manifest when they decide. Deities are spirits. But I don't, the whole thing is so confusing. Why will a people decide to destroy a deity that is giving them peace and prosperity? Doesn't make any sense. And that is the greatest mistake the people of Aki has made. Saying they have destroyed the deity of Izenwa and Yogogo. I am hoping they will realize their mistakes. Now, tell me about the appearances you speak of. Has she come to you? Yes. Then... She wants you to carry out a special assignment. Is the one you Google is a goddess that will never lead her people astray. I need you to understand this. You know why I came to you? I came to you for this ministration because you are renowned. You are a seer of great repute. What you cannot see does not exist anywhere. This is known. Not just in your kingdom, but everywhere. Are you telling me that I should go ahead and do what this goddess is saying, even when it is clear she is making an impossible demand? Is the one who can never ask anyone to do the impossible. I want you to carry out the assignment because she blesses anyone that listens. What next? Just relax and follow the events as they unfold. But you must avoid any form of destruction. Events as they unfold? By destruction, do you mean Samson? You have spoken well to him and you have followed him with maturity. But he will keep his hopes alive. Ultimately, he will become a distraction. You will make a decision for that distraction not to happen. Son, you didn't tell me how it went with you and Viola. Not really nice. She seems gentle and meek. But in real life, she's a very tough woman. <laughs> what do you expect? She is well brought up. And women like that make good companions for men. Yes, she made mention of being engaged. That's not an obstacle. You can still win her over, you know? Yes, I never said it's an obstacle. Okay. I even love her now more than ever before. Hmm. And I want her to be mine. Wow, that's good to know, son. Um, son, you know, I want what is best for you. And Viola will make a very good wife. 
you have all it takes to win her over. If it requires money, son, spend it. Give it whatever it needs. I love you, Mom. I love you too, baby. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Cheers to Vela joining our family. Oh my God. Long life and prosperity. Yeah, baby. Mm. She wants you to carry out a special assignment. Isi Wanyogu is a goddess that will never lead her people astray. Equinigo was able to understand because he is a seer and a traditional man to the core. Others will not. My friend, some demons have perfected plans to pull you down. They are the ones behind all this. I will advise you to avoid them before your business as such will start running away from you. This is what your plan is all about. And at the end, you will only discover you are alone by yourself. The same way Chief Raymond dismissed this is the same way many people will equally dismiss it. My business competitors will turn me to a laughing stock. The woman does not understand. This woman does not understand. Just as simple as that. What are you going to do now? No, you want to start monitoring my life? Or you want to force me to do what I don't want to do? The man of Aki who gave birth to you was not this stubborn. He was a decent man. And her goodness brought him here. He thought he was doing the poor widow a favor. But he ejaculated the seed and the star of Aki in another land. Uh, uh, listen, uh, woman, there is something I need you to understand. What you are saying may be true. You may be right. I'm not disputing that. But you need to understand. We live in an era where such tales are no longer tolerated by science or whatever. You cannot say that. I am a man who has risen to command respect, locally and internationally. I am a man who sits on a mountain of money with a lot of employees who look up to me. I cannot go back to Aki and present what you are saying. Have you bothered to ask yourself what happens in a situation where I say that and I, will, I, I, I get rejected by the people of Aki, my life? My personality, my business, and in fact, everything about me is going to take a new dive. Disobedience to what I am asking you to do is what will bring the nose dive. Do not forget your root. And never you erase the fact that you have come face to face with Ezewanyo Kuku of Akiye. Don't wait for me to make this trip the third time. God mother, you are not helping this matter. So uh, how do you mean? I mean, you know my son loves your granddaughter. Eh? He's even ready to marry her today. Eh? Why don't you try and convince Fowler to at least give him a chance? Oh, you, you're just talking like I'm the one he's getting married to. I know you are not the one he wants to get married to, but at least try and convince Viola. I know she listens to you. Eh? Or oh, you don't want our friendship to extend beyond us. Uh, of course I want the ex uh, friendship to extend. Um, I don't know why you're acting like you're not cool with it. No, why are you saying this? 
If I tell you how far I've gone trying to convince her, you won't believe it. And you know children of today, they have a mind of their own. Besides, Viola already has a man, her partner that she's madly in love with. And she's not listening to anyone because uh, what she feels for that guy is undescribable. But um, it, it, what hurts me the most is that every time I try to convince her uh, about something, she gets upset and then she believes that I don't want her to stay in my house anymore. And you know that is not good enough. Hey, so what are you advising me to do? Because my son says it's her or no one else. Well, maybe you should try and talk to her yourself. You'll probably do a better job than your son. But if I may advise, she says she doesn't like very skinny people. So maybe ah, God maybe you get live your... that one, live that one. When they marry now, ah, you know how it is now. Well, if you've not been able to do something yourself, why, why, why leave it to my daughter? Just uh... okay, I will talk to her. Thank you. So, what are you saying? Is it that my son is not handsome enough or there is something you don't like about him? With all due respect, Ma, there's no such thing. Your son is very handsome and a lot of women would die just to have him. But my heart belongs to another. <laughs> you see, my dear, listen, let me be sincere to you. I am not talking to favor my son, Ma. But I have to tell you the truth as a woman. It is not good for us to put our eggs in one basket. Mm -mm. It's not good. It's not good to tie all your hope in one person. I mean, give my son a chance. You never can tell. He might be the one for you. My son is ready here and now to marry you. Today, 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 he's ready. Instead of uh, waiting for that man that has been wasting your time all this while. With your exposure, ma'am, I know you understand when a man and a woman are in a committed relationship. I have nothing against your son, but he came rather too late. I will not double date on my man because he's not ready. I know he will be. I want it to happen. But I also want it to happen when he is ready. If you don't mind, I was busy in the room when you called. I'd like to go back to that now. Sorry, ma'am. I told you, there is no way I can convince her to change her mind. But I'm impressed. She is a complete woman. A woman who knows her worth. I know. Godmother, I want her to be my daughter-in-law. Ah, well, <laughs> there's still a possibility. Who knows? Just follow her gradually. She might decide to change her mind sooner than you think. Abby? Yes. All right. Hmm. I'll do just that. Um, I have to go. Hi, already. But make sure you come back and soon. Hey, but this is my second home. Uh, you know I have okay. to be here. All right. I will be coming. Okay. You do take care of yourself. I will, and you drive safe. All right? I will. All right. Okay. Take care. My love to Samson. Bye. It's not so cold, I've not had light for the past two days. This kid is beer. This is not my problem. I came to discuss something else with you. Well, if it's about the Igwe and the political structure of Aki, I'm not interested. I am not yet to discuss politics with you. Hmm? What is going on between you and Viola? 
And did I tell you or any other person that I had a problem with Viola? If you don't have any problem with her, if nothing is going on, why are you going to pay that bright price? What are you waiting for? Okay? You're waiting for another person to come and show interest before you wake up. Another person? And I'm guessing that person is you. What do you mean by you? Wait, wait. Are you trying to say that I cannot get her if I want to? My friend, just take your drink. Don't, don't insult me. Just enjoy your drink and let's forget about all this. In fact, I'm not even saying anything again. I'm not telling you anything again. Tell me about the man that's coming for a hand in marriage. You think I don't know about that? Well, let me tell you something I know. He is wasting his time. Oh, is that what you think? Of course. You're so confident that I will not succeed. Never. Okay, let's watch how, how this whole thing will turn out. Don't say I did not tell you, I did not warn you. Drink your beer. I'm not confident. This is what I know. Hmm? Just take your drink. If you want another one, I'll bring you another one. I know, this hmm? is your hot beer. Man. Forget about me and Viola for now. Mm -hmm. Let us fight our fight in peace. Trust me, nobody can come between I and Viola. I like this, your confidence level, Sha. I'm not confident, I'm sure about it. <clears throat> nobody. Mm -hmm. Son, oh. whoever the man in her life is, he must have laid a strong footprint in that family. Why do you say so? Can't you see it? She's so adamant in giving us a chance. I guess there is true love in their relationship. But if I try one more time and it doesn't work, I will let her be. Um, yes, you are right. Just that I wanted things to work for both of you. I never knew she was already engaged. How, I mean, how can my son be competing with a village riffraff? Mom, ah. I don't think Bola is someone that can be enticed with material things or money. That's part of the qualities I observed in her. And that's why I want her as a daughter-in-law. Mom. I will try to make it work. But if it doesn't work, I will let her be. I will look for someone else. So don't just give up. I mean, try and buy things for her. Use your money. Things that girls like, you know? Maybe she will say yes. No, 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 no. She stepped out for a while to get something down the road. All right. Can I wait for her? Oh, please come in while I get you something cold to drink. Mom, don't bother yourself. I think let me drive around the village. I'll come back. Oh, well, by then she'll be back. Exactly. Okay. But then again, do you know your way around the village? Actually, as I was coming, I saw one cool joint. Let me relax there. Okay. And then come back later. All oh, right. That would be great. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Um, Mom, I, I got this for you. For me? Yes. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Mom. Hey. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. May God replenish your pocket. Thank you, Mom. All right. Thank you, Mom. Okay. I'll be back. All right. See you then. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey.
what exactly do you want me to tell you that I haven't already told you before? I mean, following me about is not fair. You may not have noticed that your grandma is very comfortable with me. Yeah, fine. Why don't you go ahead and propose to her? She just might say yes. Come on, my love. It's who I want. I love you with everything I have. Please, give me a chance. That's all I'm asking for. Give me a chance to prove myself to you, please. The more I want to keep you as a friend, the more you push me away. You are the one pushing me away. Please, give me a chance to prove myself to you. Am I asking for too much? Please. Like your mother said, you are an international guy. And I can see it written all over you. So you should know exactly when a woman tells you that her heart belongs to someone else or she's committed to someone else. I know, but I have done underground checks. And the guy you're talking about, presently you're not flowing with him well. And you think because of that I will just jump at every other guy who comes my way? You think it's good enough reason for you to just walk up to me to steal me away? Listen, I see you as a friend. And that's because your mother and my grandmother are very close and I hold my grandmother in high esteem. Don't change that. Don't, because we will not like what will happen. What? Wait. Are you not taking the things I bought for you? Well, I thought I could accept a gift from a friend, but obviously I thought wrong. Now I know better. What a stubborn beauty. Fuck. <laughs> Samson, your suitor brought it for me. And you accepted it? Why not now? Ah. He offered me the present. I took it from him. Mama, but you know I would never say yes to him. You shouldn't have accepted that gift. But there was no request attached to the gift. So I don't see anything wrong with collecting the bag. I, I saw him room. on the road. Oh, really? And I made it clear to him that I would never go back on my words. <laughs> you need to be careful. You already know the situation between you and Clemson. I think you should think twice before you start sending Samson away. Mama, we're going to settle our differences. It's better you do that now. Eh? So you'll know your stand before you lose a good suitor. Open at Clemson Adaba. Samson Adaba. After all, both of them have sis to their names. Mama, I'm the one in charge. I'll handle this. Mm -hmm. I want to send my own. The meat on the fire first. What should I do now? If not that Clemson is misbehaving, I wouldn't have him going through this. situation he's supposed to handle like a man, he decides to back out and turn it against me. Is that how a man should behave? out here by this time. I couldn't sleep, so I came out for some fresh air. You couldn't sleep? Viola, what is bothering you? Confide in me. It's nothing, Mama. It's nothing. Nothing you said. Yes, Mama. I can't even phone you, 
just make sure you buck up properly. What the hell are you doing here? Please calm down. Calm down? Well, that will really happen when you tell me you're not here with another fetish revolution. I'm only here so we can sort out our differences, that's all. Let us talk about the man you were with the other day. It's absolutely nothing, he's just an admirer and I don't have anything to do with him. I'm here so we can talk, please. I'll tell that to the vet. Please, leave my presence. Are you asking me to leave your house? Of course you should know I'm better off without you. Huh? You're saying these hurtful words to me because I am here to talk and sort out our differences? Get out of my house. Don't make me push you. Please, get out. Now. Because I will be leaving the country soon. Yes, I have no problem with that. I will surely miss you. But you manage without you. Did you just say miss me? I was thinking you were coming with me. Come on, mom. I'm a full grown man. Are you not saying it? Yes. Oh. I'm no longer that small boy you used to take everywhere you're going to. Whoa. If you say so. Mom, I know so. <laughs> okay, tell me. How are we going about your Mrs. Wright? Mom, I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. I was considering someone before you came up with Viola. You remember? Of course I do, Ugonne. I know her very well. But she didn't fit in exactly in what you need in a wife. Mom, I can't remember telling you there's that thing I need in a wife. Oh, yeah, I know. But I know that Ugonne didn't fit in. Because you, you failed to marry her even after proposing to her. Mom, please, I don't want to discuss this any further. Please. I love Viola so much. Yes. And I would do everything humanly possible to win her heart. Travel to your UK. By the time you return, I will give you good news. Okay. If you say so. Mom, I know so. Hmm. <laughs> this is why you came to my place today. I don't, my sister. I'm less busy. I decided to check on you. You try. Ah, this one you're appealing, Egusi. What happened? Is it not my mother? She gave me this work to do before she returns <laughs> from the market. Better for you. Me. I don't know how to peel Egusi. <laughs> Lazy girl. Uh -uh. What else do you know how to do if not to eat? Almost on Nikki me. <laughs> well, wait. Have you heard from our friend lately? That one. Ever since the last time we saw her coming down from that car, I have not set my eyes on her again. Honestly, I don't understand how. Eh? Well, let's just keep watching her. <clears throat> have you seen Clemson lately? It's, it's as if those two are no longer as close as they used to be. <laughs> it is obvious they are having issues. I mean, why would she confide in us? Are we not friends? 
can she be behaving like that? Are we not friends again? And I just forget about her. Whenever she's ready to talk to us, she will come and look for us. Yeah. <laughs> well, in fact, bring this, let me help you and peel. You, peel a goosey. <laughs> anyway, I will allow you because we are cooking this a goosey goosey good. Uh -uh. What's that supposed to mean now? Nena, you will break the whole egusi. Anyway, even if you break them, I'll grind them after. So, Bill, you are very stupid. Come on, bully her also. I will not help you again. Oh, yeah, Allah. Can't somebody play with me? No, 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 no. I'm not helping you again. Help yourself. You even break them safe. the chosen one because you only want to deliver the message do not think you can wish this away we are friends and friends do not betray each other finally she is the one who betrayed me I have lost my man and she is not even doing anything about it You know, say, I go die for your case, so. I go carry you for my head, oh. <laughs> my one and only. Yo, 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 mom, Jueko. Havana. Why haven't I been seeing you lately? Eh, eh, baby, na hosu no. Hi, eh, Buka is a hard-working young man. I'm not kota, for you, on kota and koele. It's for you. Okay. Yes. That's a good one. Thank you. Um, before I forget, I noticed that my friend is having issues with Clemson. Do you have any idea what the problem is? Mm -mm. I, I don't. But, Adao, those two seem very much in love to be having issues. I think they're having one now. It's none of my business. You see, I'm not even very much close to that uh, cleansing of a guy. That guy is too proud and arrogant. He's too arrogant and pompous. And that's why I'm not close. So I don't know anything about them. Maybe... Or Batu. Batu is very much closer to him. Yes, he's very close to them. Clemson does not possess such qualities you just mentioned. Huh? Everybody knows he's a kind-hearted man and an easy-going fellow. Hey! How? Ada? How? How? How many is it going? Why am I suddenly beginning to have this feeling that you are falling for Clemson? How can I? He's already dating my friend, so... No. I'm not. Ada, are you sure? I'm not. Uh, and then let's leave Clemson and his relationship to be every man for his own burden. We should be concentrating on us. Ada and Ebuka, Ebuka and Ada, Ada Bubu, Bubu Ada, Ada Bu. <laughs> eh, it's us. Eh, but you're not doing me well. Eh? Ada, you've not said anything yet. You've not granted permission to my proposal. And it makes me begin to wonder what am I not doing well? Sh sh should I even do more? You know, I love you. I love you and I care for you so much. Do you know what you're asking me? Love. Hebuka, you want me to be your woman. Mm -hmm. You should know I need real time to think that over. I knew you were going to say this. And that I was expecting you to say this. <laughs> See? A real woman needs real time to think about real men like me. <laughs> yeah? Yes! Hey, but what I'm asking you is this. Whatever your answer would be, your decision, please don't hurt me. 
because I love you. See it now. Look, just look. Look, you will see love. Look here. Look, see it's love. You sound as if I'm dangerous. Huh? I am an easygoing fellow. I'm just trying to be careful. Uh, careful is okay, but just say yes. See you later. And I see you soon. You are easygoing and you are going. Just like that. Yay! Can I go? Hmm. Then you half was. Yeah. Look at somebody I'm trying to help her life. Yeah. Ebuka Bukan Joe is trying to woo you and you are here telling me he's going. If you like be hard going now, huh? you You gonna know what are you doing here? I'm aware that your mom has gone back to the UK. What has that got to do with you? I have told you, I have decided. Why are you pestering my life? Move on with your life. Something tells me that your mom has been the one creating the problem between us. Now that she's no longer in the country, can we decide as adults and ignite what we shared? Ugonne, there is nothing to ignite. Why not move on with your life? Why are you doing this to yourself? Can you possibly find anyone else that will love you the way I do? What are you trying to say? That I have no life without you. Now get out. I said leave! Get out! I said leave! So, how have you been? Uh, not too well. Wait. You didn't go to the supermarket. Um, I have an attendant now, so I can go there anytime I like. I'll soon be going there anyway. Oh, that's good. But I thought your woman helps you out. Why? Where is she? Obviously, she's not here. Well, we we broke up. Ah, that that is not possible. I mean, not with the kind of love both of you exhibit. Well, my friend, everything is possible. Change is the only thing that is constant, bro. Look, I noticed for a while now you've not been well. Okay, what is going on? How do you mean? Everybody is saying it. The Clemson I know is happier than this. These days you are sad and withdrawn. My friend, stop all, this, stop all those imaginations, I'm fine. Ah, this one is not imagination, brother. Everybody is seeing it. Like I said, I'm perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, it happened over a month ago. I'm, I'm over it. I'm fine. Over a month? Yeah. Ah, brother, what happened now? I'd like to know what happened. Tell me. You will be shocked at my story. Honestly, I am disappointed at you. Why would you have such a pagan belief? As far as I'm concerned, that deity was destroyed many years ago. We can't go back to that era. That's why you have a duty to convince the youth. They need to embrace that era one more time. Do you have a proof? How can I convince a man who everyone knows is from Enuagu that he's from Aki? Listen, it is the truth, my love. It's the truth, is it why your Gugu has appeared to me and told me that the youth of Aki need to embrace her one more time. She calls it the embrace of life and that is the only thing that can restore greatness to this land. Enough of that rubbish! Enough of all this rubbish! Don't ever bring up this topic again around me. First you say she appeared to you in your dreams, now she's appearing to you in real life. Don't make me believe you are you're, you're, you're spiritually possessed or something. But I am saying the truth. You need to listen to me. Listen. Is the one you Google has explained everything to me. I can tell you exactly what she said. She told me what happened. I do not want to hear tales from a goddess reportedly born years ago. Stop this nonsense right now. Now are you not shocked that such nonsense came from someone I wanted to make my wife? Wait, uh, let me get this correctly. You mean, as a one new Google, 
paid Viola a visit and said this. And he never took it serious. No problems. Take what serious? You of all people should know I don't take uh, things like that serious. I don't believe in them. As a matter of fact, it was the reason for our breakup. Ah, <sighs> guy. Just tell me you're joking with me or are you being serious? Of course I'm serious. Why, why are you... Why are you acting like this? Are you alright? Now I know that you are the real enemy of our youth in this kingdom. What do you mean by that? What sort of stupid and senseless question is that? How can something this important come up in this kingdom and you kept it to yourself? Without letting anyone know, what kind of a leader are you, Clemson? Don't tell me you believe in deities too. <gasps> that you don't have to believe in it. Look, whether you believe in it or not, it doesn't matter. I mean, we could have looked for a way, I mean, to move forward. Now I believe Chinedun when he said uh, uh, something is wrong in this kingdom. <gasps> I don't blame you. Because you are successful, you don't want another person to succeed. Enough! Above. Enough of all this. What has come over you? You have come over me, Clemson. You! Just don't worry, wait. By the time I tell everyone what you hid away from us, you will see what happens. Hmm? Don't worry. Uh, 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 uh. What have I done wrong? Never knew Clemson could do a thing like this, Papa. I'm back to my son. You see, Ichi Okeke has been functioning as the priest of Obuku, even when there was no altar. Ezo Dumudu, in all the years he ruled, never went to Obuku. I am glad that this day finally came, Papa. I don't have to waste time on this. Eh? I need to call the youth for a meeting. Yes. And we will get Viola to explain everything in details to us. Ah. We don't have to waste time on this work. Ah. I only came to brief you, Makandi Obudu, so that they will not ask, have you told your father? Ah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Amato. Why bothering yourself? When they asked the question, Tell them that you have discussed with your father, Okonkwo Ezazu, and I ordered you to proceed. Listen, Obatun. Akiyi is on the verge of transformation, in case you don't know. How is what I'm saying, eh? How can a good leader come across something this huge and keep it to himself? We hold it there, beggar. I don't want you to bring sentiment into this issue. What we should be talking about is the way forward, guys. I do not know Clemson to be a careless person. Clemson is someone that stands for what is right and for everybody. See, in this, in this case now, uh, I think we should involve the king. Um, I don't know for you guys, but to be frank, I don't understand you. Huh? We've not even heard from Clemson and we are here drawing conclusions. Who does that? Listen, yeah. Ebuka. If you do not rise above sentiment today and reason like a normal human being, I'll slap you. Huh? Sentiment kill you there. How dare you slap me in Apuala? Damn, what are the people here now? If I said it and I'll say it again. Bimba. If if you do not support this thing, I will take this in person now with you. This is how they fear you. Get up and do it now. Man to piagana. It's enough now. It's enough, guys. Listen. It's enough, guys. We need to behave ourselves. Viola will be here any moment to address issues with us. So we need to put ourselves together before she comes here and see us as disorganized people. Bam! Idria! Idria! After this meeting, we need to buy lots of drink. Because, because I know everything. I know everyone I know. Everyone who knows me, Munana 101. But before I will proceed, before I will break it down, Get to me drink! Hey! That's why you 
Ndi youth aki yi apapasya. Listen, I'm prepared for all of you. Is it not a youth? I will slap you. Is it not a youth? If you look at me, I am very ready. For anybody that will stand against the drink, I will kick you. If you fight against it, you fight and whatever. You get to go. Mom, look at that guy. That is Look at you. Get the drink. <laughs> My fellow youth, you are blessed. Now what now? You say about one now? Don't provoke me. You know I'm not jacka. You get to pay guy now. You know I'm not jacka. Don't provoke me. You get to pay guy now. You get to. Morgan, I go. I'll bring this guy down. Who can? He be seen. I will remove. I will remove. You get to pay guy now. I will try and attack you. Try it. If I land you this blow, you will see yourself in your mother at home. If I give you this one, you will join the assassin. Are you sick? Ibezi. No. Hey. I called here to warn you to desist from this act. You're making everyone go mad with this, your, your revelations. So this is really why you called me here? You think it's not strong enough? Viola. Listen, Obatu was at my house today. I told him about your revelation because he asked why we were having problems. And he acted strange. I don't want you to keep making people believe what does not exist. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yes, you should be very ashamed of yourself. You called off our engagement. I came to your house to beg you and tell you that I missed us. And you pushed me away. Now you're calling me here to tell me this rubbish that you're saying. They're not rubbish, darling. It is you who's allowed your heart to wander for nothing. And you are the one who's not seeing things from the empirical point of view. Let me even ask you, are you truly a man? What sort of question is that? Of course, I'm a man. Then do the right thing. Save your people from anarchy, doom and backwardness. What is wrong with her? Good morning, Mama. Uh, good morning, Mom. How are you? Uh, I didn't want to ma. What brings you to my house this evening? Uh, Chalukwa? I think I've seen this face before. Yes. Mama, I am Okbatu. Ichie Okungu Ezazu's son. I've been here before with Clemson. Oh, I see. Uh, Clemson is your friend. Yes, Mama. Okay. So, what, may I help you? Why are you here? Mama, all is well. I came to see Viola for a brief discussion. Brief discussion? Um, uh, Viola. Ma? He came to see you for a brief discussion. You promised to come yesterday. What happened? Oh. Yes, Mama. Yeah. If the youth of Aki have risen against you, it is your fault! Why would they rise up against me? No, tell me, why would they rise up against me? When we have different form of rights and freedom in our constitution. Nobody has the right to force me to what I do not believe. And one day, one day, you will wake up and you will not see that hopeless constitution. On that day, you will realize that there is a one of our key, our own is a one. It's mightier than that useless constitution. Listen, if it's him, I can't be having this conversation with you. Please, when you're done, you can use the door. One day, you will wake up to speak grammar. And your mouth will move open and close and nothing will come out. That very day, you will realize that our way is the one. It's mightier than your English. And mightier than that, your useless grammar. No sense you. Look at you. Speaking English, that very day, you will become a baby. No sense. It's me. Can you say so? Bono sense. I am tired of this nonsense. Yes, please, please. Make some sense. Please, please. God bless you.
this is about the message of Isaac 81. How can you and your boyfriend keep this important information to yourself? I mean, it's no fault of mine. The message was significantly his to lead you guys to achieve this. I told him, but he refused. I want you to come and testify to the youths of this village so that we know how to go about this. I was scared to open up because I was afraid no one would believe me. Look, my dear, our lives depend on that revelation. Eh? You need to come and talk to them so that we will know how to go about this. I'll handle the rest. Nothing. What took you so long? Oh, it's nothing, nothing serious, Mama. I, um, he just came to inquire about something. Something like what? It's nothing serious, Mama. Don't worry yourself about it. You know, every time you say it's nothing serious, I have this feeling that you're hiding something very important from me. Mama, I'm not hiding anything from you. It's absolutely nothing. Don't worry your head about it. Let me go inside and get ready for my meeting. So, all this thing has been happening, and you couldn't come here to inform us earlier? I didn't have the courage. Besides, the message was clearly for Clemson. He was meant to inform the youth and act upon it. Then your selfish and stupid boyfriend decided to keep it to himself. Please, with all due respect, don't use those words on him. It's unfortunate that he just didn't believe what I said, that's all. I'm so happy he used the word unfortunate. Thank the gods you mentioned unfortunate because that is exactly what he will be getting if he doesn't explain to us what happened. Please, please, can you stop, please? This is not why we are here. I said it, I said there's a problem. But nobody will believe me now. I mean, nobody. I'm not claiming in any supermarkets. Chinedi, please stop all this. Eh? I don't like the way you react to issues sometimes. How is he reacting? No, answer me. How is he reacting? The guy has a point. The secret of wealth was revealed to us and our so-called president hid it for himself. Aren't we supposed to be discussing this the right way? Guys, what we should be discussing right now is how to present this to the king. Just leave that one to me. Let us go straight to the king, eh? When we get there, I'll handle everything. What an irony of life. Someone we all have been wishing to be our own is actually our own. Say it again, Chief Polycap Okeke, the Eselwe Nuego of Enuago is actually from Aki. One of our late uncles traveled to Enuago to finish work. But don't worry, we'll bring him back. It's your home boy. Yes, I have always known you as a traditionalist to the core. A disciplined one at that. Our people have always known you as someone that is deeply rooted into the customs and tradition of our land. I've invited you here so we can have a talk. Your Highness, I hope you are not flattering me. Please, go straight to the point. I, I am aware that you are aware of what is going on in this kingdom. What do you suggest that we do? in a point like this. Mm, Your Highness, as a, the custodian of our custom and tradition, and I think as the king you are, you're supposed to know the custom and tradition of our people. I know. You're right. But the deity in question, this deity that we're talking about, has long been destroyed, or should I rather say abolished, before I ascended the throne. That is where my worries are. That is where my problem is. And that is why I want you to guide me on this. It's okay. Mm. Ogugu is a deity of peace and unity with love for her children. But the people of Aki, we are misled by a common blind idiot who called himself a pastor and he did not know what Ogugu represents. Before the deity was destroyed, 
our people, especially the young men, they used to take lead in terms of wealth and affluence. And our women also have peace of mind in their marriages. And there was never a case or issue of barrenness. But ever since the introduction of this, the whole thing brought harm to our people. So I heard. And I have been wondering what is going on. In my reign, this kingdom has refused to develop. Our youths are struggling on daily basis to survive. Where do we go from here? Um, Your Highness, you see, when we talk of stagnation, the case of Amade will always come to mind. My friend, this is why you came to visit me today. Hope I am safe. You are sounding as if I don't usually visit you. I so much appreciate your coming. So how is your family, especially the kids? They are doing well, my sister. Uh, talking about family, what are you and your husband doing about this, your childlessness? Mama Ada, what will I do? We have tried all the means we know, yet nothing to show for it. And are you sure the problem is not from you? Not at all. Even my husband too is very okay. We believe that we will have our own child when the time is right. When will the time be right? Tell me, is it when all the villagers have started seeing you as a bali woman? Please, 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 don't say that to me again. Please, I beg you. You know I am not barren. Don't say that to me again. Calm down, calm down. You have been married for years now. You got married before me. Look at me. I have three children already. What are you saying? Look, if the problem is not from you, then the problem is from your husband. How? If he's not the one, you could have gotten someone pregnant since. My husband loves me so much. He cannot do such a thing to me. Don't be deceived. Men cannot be trusted like that. Look at me, Mamanda. I am sick and tired of this whole thing. I have accepted my fate. Do not accept such fate. So what do you expect me to do? What do you suggest I do? What? Yes! If he cannot do it, then try someone else to know where the problem is coming from. That is abominable, you know that. What is abominable there? Is it not for you to get what you want? How are you, honey? Whenever I see you like this, it breaks my heart. I've told you severally not to worry about our childlessness. Why won't I worry? I need to carry my own child. I need to breastfeed the baby. I need a child to cry under this roof. And you're telling me not to worry. It's okay. I understand. God's time is the best. Now, let's go inside. I'm, 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 I'm,
Woman, why should you do such a thing to your husband? Your own husband? Please stop her just this witness. I was misled by a friend. Ta! Misled by a friend. Coco, what kind of excuse is that? No, what kind of excuse? I thought my husband was the reason for what I listened. So I decided to try someone else. What? You woman, did you listen to yourself at all? And you, young man, that you're looking downwards will not prevent me from telling you. Because the frowning face of a he good will not prevent it from being dragged to the market when the need arises by the owner. You will not see any of these single, single girls. To me, and that true. It is, it is a married person. When you are married, when you are married, when you are you are Why are you looking downwards? Oh, 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 oh no, it, it, it's the handwork of the devil. Shut up. Oh no. What devil? What devil? It is you I'm seeing. Where is the devil? It is you, it is your handwork I'm seeing. What is the devil? Tell me I will break the devil's head. Oh no. Nyala. How do you mean? Are you encouraging him to go after younger even? Which reasonable and responsible single lady will settle down with this idiot? Please, my elders. How will you shut up? Shut up! This is my verdict. For daring to desecrate the sanctity of this kingdom, I will expose both of you. Hey, hey! To the full rot of the law. Your Highness, I have spoken. Hey, shut up! I remember that better forgotten incident. The woman was barren and felt her husband was responsible. A friend of hers advised her to cheat on her husband to prove a point. Uh, Your Highness, all those things started happening after our people, the people of Aki, turned their back on Oku. Originally in Aki, any woman who was childless will go to Ogu and be blessed with the fruit of the womb. But we lost all those things as a result of introduction of foreign gods which we followed. <sighs> it's your Konko. You have said a lot. According to the young lady that brought about this revelation, she said that as a one your Google said the youth and the entire Aki kingdom must come back and embrace her. That brought to mind the question, how do we do this? And what does this exactly mean? Uh, your Highness, it is very, very simple. All we need to do there is to put back the altar, which was long destroyed. By the time we put it in place, it's not going to cost us anything. Such good things should be maintained and kept and not to be destroyed. I shall build the altar. I will erect it. I am going to decorate it in a way that it will become so, so symbolic and it will be a good reference point to our future generation. That is what I will do. Yes, Your Highness, you have spoken well. That is exactly what we are going to do. Even the Europeans who brought the teaching that made our people abandon their ancestors did not abandon their own tradition. Uh, I think uh, we are going to rise as a people but we must go back to the ways of the spirituality because spirituality is the master key to physical wealth. I must say that I appreciate this meeting, Ichio Kungkuo. Send words to all the relevant men in Aki. We have to move immediately. 
Okay, Your Majesty, I'm already on it. Clemson, is it true? I mean, all the allegations leveled against you, are they true? Your Majesty, I was misunderstood. I didn't mean it that way. Clemson, keep quiet. Keep quiet and tell the king the truth. You intentionally eat this revelation from us. You want to be the only one that owns a supermarket while we remain on this level. It will not happen. We don't want you as our youth leader. That is what we told the king and that is what we are standing by. Period. Fine. Fine. Fine, Chinidu. If that is what you want, you can have the position. I know you've always had your eyes on it. You can have it. Chinidu. Do you realize we are in the presence of His Majesty? We are in the presence of a good man that would never hide the truth from us. What Clemson did eh, is abomination. In fact, more than abomination, murder. Clemson has murdered the future of the youth of Aki, and we don't want him as our youth leader. That is it. Stop using the word we, 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 we. Because you are all alone in this your confrontation. I come out there. You know, we, 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 we. You know, let's keep quiet. Keep really done, okay? Very well then, I want you all to go back and settle these amongst yourselves. But before then, I want you to know that Clemson, as in no small measure, served this very kingdom. He has put in so much effort. As a man, he has tried his best. He has done all he could to make sure that there is peace in this kingdom. It will be very wrong for us to rise up suddenly and see him as evil. I quite agree with you that he made a mistake. But we too cannot be justified in any way to kill him because of this. Once again, I want us to go back and settle this amicably. His majesty has spoken well. He has said it all. The only aspect I fought him a little bit is that a man of our key will open his mouth to say that he is not interested in things that has to do with the gods and the goddess. And that is why I am so bothered as a new of this kingdom. However, I, I will let us allow him a second chance. You should go home, settle this matter. Iwe. Iwe. From what has just happened, it is very obvious that the youth are angry. And I do not want this to escalate more than this. I want you to go and talk to the youth, plead with them that they should not gang up against the poor boy. Your Majesty, honestly, from what I saw, it is Chinedu. Only Chinedu that has vehemently decided to rope Clemson's head into the matter. Because there's nothing he can do ordinarily as an individual. But my main concern is, how do we go about his instructions given to us by his one new Google? I quite agree with you. But the youth must calm down first before we send words to the man of Enuago. And we have to start the process immediately. Better. Better. But then, in accordance with the traditions of our key, we will not just rely on the anger being exhibited by this youth. We have to make a broader consultation, spiritually. Honestly, Clemson, I am tired of this. I, I don't have the strength for this at all. I think you need to take your problems elsewhere. You must have the strength, though. You must have the strength. Because you started this whole madness. How can you create lies and expect me to act on them? Now you've turned everyone against me. How can you call them lies? How really can you call them lies? Despite everything playing out in front of you, you still call them lies? Of course they are lies. Yes, they are lies. Or possibly figment of your imagination. And now they're trying to ruin me. You are the one ruining yourself. It's your stubbornness that will ruin you. Okay. What's going on here? What, what, what's the argument for? Mama. Can you for? Mama, it's your daughter. 
Viola and a stupid revelation and now the whole thing is trying to ruin me. Watch your talk. What exactly is going on? Ama, Viola here came to me with tales of his and why Ogugo, giving her revelations. Yes. I, this, this, this is something I never believed. And now the whole thing is trying to ruin me. Wait, did you just say as a one you Mama, they are all lies, fabricated by her. I have told her to stop this thing, but she wouldn't stop. Because it is the truth. They are no lies. I have told you this with the love of my heart, from the depth of my heart, and you have refused to listen. <laughs> Let it be known that if you're finally crippled, you are the cause. Mama, you see what I'm talking about? This is what I'm talking about. Viola have lost, she's gone insane. Mama, but please explain to me, what is it all about? Well, what's going on? Teddy, for what is it? Well, Mama, nothing's going on. Viola has gone fetish. Yes, she's now an apostle of the destroyed goddess. She has to leave me out of it. Mama, she has to leave me out of this. Clemson, 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 I don't understand what you're saying. Clemson. What's going on here? Are you not surprised that it's listing me? The verse that will continue to drum it, drum it into your ear until you hear it. And what nonsense are you drumming into my ear? By the way, how did you know I was here? I know you will not understand. But I know everything that is happening in our kingdom. All of you gathered together, conspired together to deny me position. But the SN1 and Yogogo has given me a position that is mightier, better than all your hopeless and useless positions. Mbiala! Wait. Are you trying to tell me that your constant visiting and monitoring has something to do with the destroyed deity? Stupid! 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 They destroyed themselves and not as a Wayoko. Let me ask you, how can they even destroy the Almighty? The Almighty as a Wayoko! They cannot! You see that Viola? She is the only thing you have in this entire life. She is the only valuable thing you have. You see that your hopeless business uh, supermarket that you boast of? You see? One. It's gone. Nonsense to you. What are they planning? To set my business on fire because of you? That is not the topic, stupid. I know you will never understand. What is wrong with this man? You will never understand it because the topic is not about your business. If you lose this particular person, your life is gone. But if you see that your business, you can lose the business and gain this particular viola. Your life is saved. So you think I will not tell you the truth? Abandon every other thing and hug Viola. And if you lose it, you are gone. Nonsense. Is it because of why? Okay, you think I will not tell you the truth, eh? You think I will not tell you the truth because of that hopeless cheap drink that you normally give me every week? You see, Otto. Heavy Otto that is sweating will strike you and your mouth. Otto, that's why I got that pot. Nonsense, you. Hopeless, you. Useless, albinotic, idiot. In fact, don't allow me to call you. Because you are behaving like Toro Toro. No sense to you! Who bless them? Listen, to say I am disappointed in you, it's an understatement. I mean, how could you do this to me? I'm sorry, mother. The thing is, all the while, you you were asking me if everything was okay. I just could not bring myself to open up to you. I didn't have the confidence to open up to you. I am not everyone. I'm your grandmother. I should understand you better. You left your father's house to stay with me because I believe we have a special bond. But you never confided in me. Even when you, you, you broke up with Clem, you still didn't tell me anything. Eh? When I asked you why you were inquiring about um, Ogugu, you told me nothing, mother. The message was for him to execute. And since Clemson didn't believe me, I didn't think anyone would believe me. I'm sorry. 
Wait. Am I the no one? You're referring to me as somebody, right? I am your grandmother. I am in a better position to understand you more than any other person. Mother, I was just being careful not to go against the instructions. That's the reason you should have confided in me in the first place. All this thing, all, all that is happening, I wouldn't have gotten to this extent. Eh? It's your gonna eat any. I'm sorry, mother. I'm sorry, I just wasn't thinking straight. Don't don't look at me with those eyes. Robert, are you sure you are not being too hard on your friend Clems? See, considering what he did, I don't think so. How can somebody know the solution to a major problem and he kept it to himself? Who does that? I've always found myself defending him. But when you look at it critically, guy, I feel so bad. My dad, you are the only one claims he has. If you finally turn your back on him, he might commit suicide. Is that how you want your friend to end? You see, many people have said many things about him. I've always found myself defending this guy. Eh? But now I'm beginning to believe what all those people have been saying. Come off it, Abed. Come off it. I, I, okay, I understand that he made a mistake by not letting us know. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't want our progress. Now, let me ask you something. Since he has been your friend, have you ever noticed him having all those uh, evil characters or something? See, eh? Baba, at this point, eh, I don't believe anybody. I don't trust anybody. See, my guy, eh, what I'm suggesting is that we should forget about all these things. Let's just forget about it. Let us just focus on how to get this secret world. Instead of talking about what uh, Clemson should have done, but he did not do. I know what I'm saying it to. Let us focus on that direction. That is the most important something to do now. That's the mo most important thing to do. Mm. Meanwhile, uh, I think we should go to Clemson's house. Uh, I see. No, but I will skip. I, I have somewhere else to go. Mm. That's somewhere else to go. Mm. We'll see later. I'm saying you, know, you should take all these things easy. Baba. You should take these things easy. We'll catch up later. No, Allah. Yeah, no. Please sit. Uh, thank you. Well, you don't have to blame anyone for the action. Okay? And another thing is, uh, I want you to come out open and apologize to your guys. It's very, very important. It's all right, I will, I will do just that. It's just that I'm pained. And after all my contributions towards the betterment of this kingdom, all I have sacrificed, they still think I am the problem of this kingdom. It's so painful. I understand what you mean, but you don't have to be because that is the situation at hand. You understand? But I want us to forget about whatever that happened. And let us forget about all these things and walk towards making peace. It's very, very important. I have spoken to Abato. He is very, very upset with you. But I made him see reasons. And I'm sure by now he doesn't hold any grudges against you. So you need to see him also, at least to make peace. It's very, very important. No problem. I'll, I'll do just that. Thank you very much for, for everything. Thank you very, very much. Hmm? I'm very grateful. Okay. And uh, one more thing. Clemson, I want you to reconcile with the woman. See, the, the story flying around is not good at all. So you need to reconcile with her. Well, I don't wish to have that discussion. Okay. If you don't want to have the conversation, it's good, but... I seriously want you to give it a thought. Noted. Once again, thank you very much for coming. I'm very grateful, huh? Thank, thank you. you so what do I what do I offer you? Hmm. Um, Clemson. I hope you not argue with me on this. You need to involve the Igwe to make peace with the youth. I make this recommendation in good faith. Because I hear different version of the story and from all indication, you are not safe. You are not safe if you act calm like nothing is happening. You are not safe. 
Well, Uncle, I've heard what you said. I would, uh, I would act accordingly. <laughs> Thank you very much for your concern. Good, good. That's good. If you need any advice along the line, don't hesitate to call me. I'm your uncle. I will always be there for you. Call me anytime. I will not forget that. That's Thank it. you very much for your concern again. It's all right, Cleansing. I should be on my way now. Hey, Mongol, uh, let me get you something now. Since you refuse to take anything because of the urgency of the message, let me package something for you to go home with. But also as an Ichi of Aki. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> well, I won't stop you. Oh, okay, very well. Just some, give me some time to package something, huh? It's all right. All right. Clemson. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I know this is your brand. <laughs> is this not too much? No, 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 it's not. Clemson. Amen. Don't hesitate to call me if you have issues that I can that. solve. I will not forget that. Mugwano, can be allowed one now. Have to rush. Okay, uncle. Where's email, eh? Okay, uncle. Shishike. I know you are wondering why I am smiling. Yes, Your Majesty. I have actually called you here today so we can have a word. Like a father and a son. Not as Igwe or as the youth leader. Okay, Your Majesty. How are you trying to settle the disagreement with the youth? Your Majesty, they are, they are still very mad at me. I have resolved to apologize to them, but I want everywhere to calm down first. Next time, do not allow your fate to becloud your sense of reasoning. People and kingdoms have their own different customs and traditions. Some of them do not affect our fate. Some are actually blessings to us. And they guide us. They are gifts from our ancestors. They lead us right. I have been exposed to all of those, Your Majesty. I just want to correct all I have read. I will call for a meeting. I'm sure we'll find a way forward from there. It's all right. Do not waste any time, as you have said. Take the bull by the own and do what is needful. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. Igwe. Come on. Stop making things more difficult than they are right now. Pardon Please. Me. What do you mean by that? I, I said I'm sorry. Okay? All this negative meaning you people are reading into this never crossed my mind. I did what I did because of my conviction at the moment. I didn't know to escalate to this. Okay? You've been my friend for years now. I want us to work together to make the best out of this situation. Please. My son, Papa. Papa. Uh, my son, Abate. I heard the voice of your friend pleading with you. Please, uh, Doc says, if I fall down for you, you fall down for me. It's a play. Ndibo sepane, nana mama adaroch, ni nemonyo na patu. Again, to A is human, to forgive is divine. So, you and the cleansing have been friends for a very long time, and you will not come now and tear apart. Please, I play with you. You have to forgive him. He's your friend. So that the both of you will work together towards the development of this kingdom. Please, my friend. Thank you very much, Ichi. You're welcome. Mba, I've heard you. Hmm? I thought you've gone out. 
<laughs> my son, I have been on a long distance call, uh, but uh, I, I am leaving now. Thank you. See you later. Eh? Thank you very much, Chi. It's okay. Look, I'm sure he stayed back to you. I'm sure he stayed back to make a case for me. How about you? Even if every other person misunderstands me, you're not supposed to misunderstand me. You're my friend. You've been my friend for years now. Look, it's okay, bro. I understand it's a mistake on your own part. And anyone can make a mistake. Thank you very much for that. Thank yes. you. So, um, I'll put on our platform. We'll be having an emergency meeting this evening. Yes. That will be awesome. And you remain our leader. You're not serious. <laughs> and the same person you people try to impeach. No, but for real, you are still our leader. I mean, nothing can change that. My guy, thank you very much. For right. I have to run now. Huh? Maybe we'll see you later in the evening. Then I. Take care. All right, here. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm very sorry. The thing is that when this thing came up, I I was confused. Because I didn't understand the connection between the wealth of the people and a deity that was destroyed many years ago, long before we were born. The thing is that I know better now, and I have pleaded with the Igwe and the elders in council to do everything in my powers to restore prosperity in this kingdom. And I need your support and a team spirit to achieve this very goal. Well, Clemson, uh, I don't have a problem with you. All I've always wanted was for Aki to start functioning well. And I'm glad you're in agreement with us now. At this point, nothing can stop us again. Yes. And uh, I think the best thing we should do now is to proceed to Inuago and give the man the information. He's our own, and it is our duty to make him know that. No, we, can, we cannot do that without involving the king. Eh? He is the head of this kingdom, and such action must pass through him. Sometimes eh, when you talk, I wonder what you eat. Now if you know. Yeah. Are you insulting me now? Uh -uh. It's not an insult, though. It's just an observation. Okay. Aye, See, okay. let me tell you. Okay. We all know that the king is the head of this kingdom. And you think he will be happy to bring back a man that will challenge him tomorrow? Uh, uh, Mikina, I think at this point I disagree with you. Hmm? I think you're wrong here. Yeah. How am I wrong? Eh? From what I gathered, that man won a federal government contract to generate and distribute electricity in the whole south. Chairman, that contract worth over 330 billion naira. As I'm talking to you now, I know that the king is already afraid and he will never ever want to bring back a man like that. I know. And don't forget that this same man was recently given a chieftaincy title by the Igwe. And so he knelt down to receive this title. Automatically, he submitted to the royal authority. I don't think the same man would have challenged this authority. It's not possible. There are many reasons why I like you. Hmm? And one of them is that uh, you know how to say the right thing at the right time. Yet, yet when he was asked to say things that would better our lives, he kept mute. Hey, because this bottled animosity will not get us anywhere. I have apologized to everyone. Don't mind you. We need to move forward, please. I am glad that you have all reconciled your differences. I like the smiles on your faces. My youth is back. Clemson? I want you to go with some of your youth and see Chief Okeke. Explain everything to him. Make him understand that if possible, bring him to the palace. It will be done, Your Majesty. We're just waiting for you approval before doing anything. Of course you have my approval. If such a vibrant man is from this kingdom, 
and we have further confirmed that he is actually from Aki. The least we could do is to make sure that we get him reconnected to his roots. Uh, Your Majesty, please, I have a question. What if this man comes back to Aki and later decides to buy the truth? Ah, Ikena, shut up. What kind of question is this? Can you just imagine? Opiona Amagi, eh? don't you fear the throne to utter this rubbish before our king? Chinedu, Chinedu, the Bonikitu. The king was about to answer my question before you interrupted. Now nobody's Bonny interrupting Bonny you. Bonny you. Bonny. Nobody's interrupting with you. You're just talking nonsense. Shut up. Wait, wait, wait. He cannot order before the king, you took a king. Well, I, I can tell you this for free. There is actually no cause for alarm. What is important right now is to see how he is reconnected back to his root. And when that is done, peradventure, he decides to hide the truth. The gods have a way of protecting their own. They will definitely protect the throne. <laughs> well, gentlemen, I have heard all you said, and uh, in all honesty, I have heard that. Really? How? Well, as a one you Google, the goddess of Aki had once appeared to me here said exactly all these things you are saying now uh, but I, I never believed that i dismissed that as uh, something that wasn't making sense to me until a young woman of aki came here and repeated the same thing are you saying that there's a one who in her majesty appeared to you and you sat back Hey, hey, listen, young man, I am not one of those men that you can just move. Uh, everything should follow a particular protocol. I felt that the people of Aki had once wounded me. Therefore, they should be the ones that are coming for me, not the other way around. Well, uh, I completely agree with you, sir. But now that we have come, are you going to cast us out? Why should I do a thing like that, young man? I can't do that. But we all need to understand the reason I did what I did. I was actually overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with a whole lot of things. In fact, too many things were coming up in my head. How would it be reported? That a man like Polika Bokeke, the Esilwenwego of Enuago, how would it be reported that he doesn't know his route? That he doesn't know where he came from? How can I be said? I was not moved in my spirit to go to Aki to meet your king Ezo Dumud because I felt it again that Ezo Dumud may end up rejecting me. Why would Ezo Dumud reject a man like you? Huh? Nobody will try that in Aki. Yo. Let us not go into all that. At least it is better this way. At least I have received a delegation from Aki who are asking me to come back. Therefore, if I should decide to go now, I will not be rejected. Yes. Oh, Chief, the truth is, Ezo Dumodo, who's just getting to know about this, is actually very excited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's asked us to come, ask you, beg you to come to the palace, or possibly come right away with us now. Yes, Chief. They are going to perform all the rituals that will make you a man of Aki. Trust us, all the expenses will be on us. Oh yeah, come on young man, don't, you don't have to say that. The expenses is not going to be a problem, I can always take care of that. Why would you even see that as a problem? Listen, I will come back to Aki, but it is not going to happen today. Chief, how soon? Very soon. I give you my word. In fact, I am going to be back. But I have a problem. I am just feeling that young men are not the people that should be making these kind of uh, 
you know, this kind of trip, you know. They're supposed to be an elder with you. Uh, well, Chief, we're just here as instructed to invite you to the palace, you know, and also let you know what is going on. And also, we felt as uh, this is upon the youth. Your arrival has a lot to do with the wealth of the youth. I understand what you're saying, yes. uh, but I need you to equally understand me when I say that. Even at that, an elder is supposed to be a part of this delegation. Well, it's not a problem, Chief. We can all, we can as well go back and come back with you know. That will not be a problem at all. I, I just decided to make my point. Okay? Well, you all can relax. If you need more drink, it can be pro but no need. I don't think you even need to drink more. Because uh, the cook has just informed me that uh, he's preparing lunch for us. And then I've just been told that uh, he killed a goat to get the lunch ready. So you don't need to drink so much. So you don't need to drink so much. So you don't need to drink so much. Let us relax and wait for the lunch to get ready. All of us will be together. Dining with a whole chief polycap. Okay, okay, the SLU go of Enoago. Hey! The SLU, SLU, Enoago of Aki Yikendon. <laughs> and uh, uh, Chief, please, I want you to do something for me. Yeah? I, I want, uh, whenever you want to call the people of Aki, stop saying the people of Aki Yikendon. See, my people of Aki. <laughs> well, it is so obvious that you guys are very funny. <laughs> okay? I don't want to deal with that. Just relax, make yourselves comfortable. I will be soon. I will come back soon. Ah, Chief Chief! Now this is a man so blessed and wealthy. Yet very humble. <laughs> Our people have a lot to learn from him. I'm telling you. So at the end of the day, I want to go there. That's how it happens. But no problem. Someone, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I take care, bro. You're welcome once again, true son of the soil. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You know, my story is indeed a very historic one. Of course it is. To think that we gave you a title in this palace, not knowing that we were actually decorating a son of the soil, speaks volume. Now I understand better the meaning of the ministration that came before we ever decided to give you a title. Well, Your Majesty, I am indeed very, very excited. Because it is now that everything is beginning to make sense to me. So many kings have approached me in the past. All of them wanting to give me one shiftancy or the other. I declined all. Because I wanted to remain a private person who is into the business of power generation and power distribution. That's what I do. But when the king, his majesty, Ezo the mode of Aki, came to my place with this idea that Aki people have decided to give me shiftancy, I was not able to resist. Because something in me was propelling me to say yes. And that's why I said yes. Little did I know that I was being called home. Yes, <laughs> yes. And that is the world for you. That is the world called home. But here's the one I knew. Who knew more than I did, who knew more than I did. You see, we are so happy uh, in our midst. Welcome you, Mr. Smith. And the longer we stay with you, the happier we are. Even you, the longer you stay with us, the more progressive you are. <laughs> if you give your best, the less in you will be brought to the level of the best. That's what they used to say. In fact, I am boldly made to say that the success you will experience now that you have known your root will make more sense of the whole success you made when you were not connected to the root. <laughs> he said, I am indeed very excited. You know, it is always nice to find out that your people love you and appreciate you. And based on what has happened, now that I know my root, I am going to do everything within my power to ensure that Aki is made to become very prosperous, very, very prosperous in the scheme of things in this country. Oh, yes. <laughs> no. 
Now, yes. apart from the title that we have given to you already, I am saying it here and now that we are going to take a date to celebrate your comeback home. Oh, yes. And let me quickly say that the whole species for that, for that party is on me. Wow. <laughs> Clemson, I, I understand you are the youth leader, right? Chief, yes, I am. Your Majesty, I want to work with the permission, please. I, I want you to permit Clemson to work with me closely. I need him to provide me with every information I need on how we can move the youth of our people. You, you have my permission already. He is very trusted. He has made a lot of sacrifices for this kingdom. I can assure you that he is eminently qualified to have that discussion with you. Yes. Thank you so much, Igwe, for your kind words. I'm humbled. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> well, Clemson, I I actually went strolling in a, in Hakiye, and I I they showed me your house. Yes, I saw your house, <laughs> Chief. That house is actually my family house. I inherited it from my father, um, and I still live there. Uh, that's where I stay and pray, hoping for a better tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, Clemson, you don't need to tell me anything about yourself. I know you inside and out. If I let me shock you, I have a detailed information about you, and I am impressed. Thank you very much, Chief. Yeah, I don't you. like it. When people I should be thanking are the ones that are thanking me. It doesn't make any sense to me. I received a lot of calls from the youth of Aki thanking me for the money I gave you to share to them. That simply means you actually share the money to the youth. It shows you are a man of integrity because there are people that you will give that task, give the money to share to people and they will keep the money. But I gave you money to share to the youth and you went out of your way and did exactly what you were asked to do. Men like you will always get the best from me. Thank you very much, Chief. I don't know how to thank you. You said you don't like people thanking you, but I don't know how to go about that. Well, I don't want to go into that. I brought you here because I, I want us to plan. The king of Aki is Odumodu. He has promised to give me 10 acres of land across Aki Express. So I want to establish a company on that land, an agro-allied company that can employ up to 500 youths of Aki. Wow. Wow, Chief, that is great. I mean, taking 500 people out of the labor market will go a long way to solving the problem of unemployment in in our kingdom. Thank you very no, much. No, don't, 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 don't keep thanking me. Apart from the the employment that the agro allied company will be provided, uh, there will equally be provision for those of them who wouldn't want to be employees. I mean, those who want to be in business, money will be provided as startup capitals for them. And we are going to monitor their progress in business. To be sure that they are doing well. I, I want everything to happen through you so that we don't have any hitch along the line. Chief, Chief, I'm so excited. I see I see greatness coming to our key. <laughs> yes, finally. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you very much. You are much. a good man indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, but I, I equally gather that uh, that young woman, Viola, who took it upon herself to bring the information to me. I gather that uh, she is your woman and that both of you are having a problem because of this. How true is that? Chief, I don't know why they will tell you that. I, I, I don't know why. No, 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 they, they, they told me because I have become a, 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 a cardinal man of Aki who should be involved in solving problems. That's what they told me. Listen, I want you to Resolved whatever whatever problem that is between both of you, I want it resolved. 
Because that woman, your woman, she is going to be a part of everything that we are planning. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> no. No, Chief. Thank you very much. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know. I can't wait to, to, to go home with this <laughs> no, news. No, no, no. You, you are doing well already and uh, more good things will actually come to Aki to you. You can count me. Thank you very count much. Thank you very much, Chief. <laughs> Thank you very much. All fake promises. Now I am beginning to understand why they destroyed the altar. She brought me out and abandoned me. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I brought you those beautiful rose flowers to rekindle the, the love we shared. You see, I have apologized to everyone else and they have forgiven me. Yours is the most important and that is why I have kept the best for the last. You see, I could find words to, but now that will not be important now. Because I'm here to tell you from the depth of my heart, I am very sorry. a woman with a good heart to do what you did for us and even when you are only the daughter to the daughter of the soil you elected to lose your love and save our mother's land thank you what you did has registered deep in in our hearts yeah? we want to build the new aki and we say that you must not be left behind of course i don't even know what to say don't have to say anything we want you to know that we are grateful and we will always be grateful. Yes. The truth is, I am happy that my man doesn't see me as fetish anymore. And I'm also grateful that all our efforts has yielded results. to a good lady with a good heart. And once I propose, she will say yes to me right here and now. Look at you. <laughs> you see, I want to say again, a good again, I want to know. Hmm? For your information. You see all those drinks that you, 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 you stopped giving me when I started telling you to do the right thing? I have been calculating them. Go and gather all of them and bring them to me. I am ready to drink them and to please them right here and now. To be honest, my love, this past few months were hell. Hell without you. See me, my love. My business was badly affected. I couldn't think straight. And I was losing money. 
And I know that wouldn't have happened if you were around. Well, I'm back now. And we are happy. So everything will be fine. Yes, darling. I can never think of loving or spending the rest of my life with anyone else apart from you. Neither can I. We're back. We're back together. Mm -hmm. Hmm? And the best part of it is that I have your five million naira in my account. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? You, what you said now, you're joking. Five million. I'm serious about it. <laughs> the highest money I've ever owned in my life is 200,000. And I didn't give you any money to give for me. Not to talk of five million. <laughs> Please. Well, he gave it to me to give to you. And he has promised to do more. Who? Chief Polika Pukeke. Yes. You see, he's happy you took it upon yourself to come and warn him. And so he gave me five million naira to give to you and has promised to do more. Are you serious? Yes. Don't you think that I was just regretting answering Izzy Wan Yogo's call before you came? You don't need to regret anything, my love. Okay? You did the right thing. As a matter of fact, he is planned to establish um, a company here. I grew a light company, yes, and um, over 500 people from here will be employed. Are you serious? Yes. Five million? For me? For you. Did you count the zeros? Of course, it's five million it's in my account. Zero, 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 zero. zero you zero, counted zero. it? Oh, yes. Hmm? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> my love. Yes, five million. I will build a mansion. I can't build a mansion with my Ada, I don't even know what you are doing here. I mean, who is this all important person that, that will even keep me standing? <laughs> well, I don't remember telling you she's all important. Eh? 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 A she? Wait, oh. You mean it's a woman? Who is she, please? See, she called me and she pleaded. <laughs> She was even the one that fixed this appointment. See, Nemi, I lured you out here because I want us to give her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Who is this person? She's coming. Is she the one? I'm sorry. I can understand. I I'm sorry. Honestly, if you give me a chance to explain, I will explain to you why I did what I did. See, you don't have anything to explain. You don't have to keep us in the dark. You are your friends, and you have remained friends for as long as... I can't even remember. So you are lying us to years from outsiders. Come on, Viola. It was, it was so insulting to us. I know, and I don't have any excuse. I just wasn't thinking straight. Nena, please, let's just forget about this whole thing. Forgive her. It wasn't entirely her fault, you know. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Well, I don't have a choice. I've forgiven her already. Thank you. Let me shock you girls. An agro allied company is going to be set up in a key and we all will be employed. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Yes. <laughs> Girl, hey. Hey. the reception. And you'll be cleaning the floor. Uh, no, no. How do I convince? Once the king says something, he stands. Mama? Oh, oh. Come, come, Mama. Look at them. Good afternoon. Mama, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Wait, oh, wait, oh. I can see that the same peace the women experienced today in the meeting applies to all of you here today. <laughs> May this peace be permanent. Amen. Amen. Ah, well, you girls, enjoy yourselves. I want to go in and rest. Okay. Hmm? I'll prepare something for you. Because you're going to be one. <laughs> Don't prepare today. <laughs> I'm a long pull and Okay, Mama. Okay, Mama. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> this is your grandmother. She's just a groove. <laughs> if all grandmothers are like her, I'm sure there will never be any problem at all. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but my grandma is just a great woman. <laughs> okay, so can you tell us now? When is Clemson coming to do what he has to do? Hello. Thank you so much for coming so okay. no uh, Um, You have to stay here. I think for the whole day. For the whole day? I can't. Who will look after Mama? Okay then, maybe you just just lock up whenever you're, you're done here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but where are you going? I'm going to the palace. I have an appointment with Igwe. And I think we'll go somewhere else from there. I really appreciate if you stayed here until I come back. Mm -hmm. I have something to discuss with you. Yeah, yes. Something like what? Chief Polycap talks about skills acquisition and meal trade empowerment for women. So I think you're going to be handling that. Are you serious? Yes, darling. That's great news. <laughs> Listen, okay. I have to run now. I have a lot to attend to now. All right, hmm? just take care. Yes. Okay. Take care of everywhere. Okay. All right, darling. Bye. Bye, darling. Bye. I am impressed by this man's commitment towards the progress of our king. He has started construction on the land that I showed him. So fast. That is the power of money, Your Majesty. It seems he mastered the secret of wealth. The way he doles out money is really encouraging. Oh, yes. I am particularly happy that all these things are happening in my reign. And with the good examples he has shown, I am believing that uh, all those that will make it through him will also help others in this kingdom. And when this happens, I think prosperity is going to grow in our key kingdom. You are right, Your Majesty. Very right. I want you to follow him and do the needful. I... I always trust and count on you. You have nothing to worry about. So I'll make sure everything is perfectly carried out. Thank you, my son. Ada, a lot of good things are really happening in this community. I'm still surprised with this speed development. And all those good things are happening just because of one person. <laughs> Wait, so that brings me to the question. All our people who never believed in Ogugwe's wine. I mean, all the people who believe they have destroyed that deity when they set that altar on fire, where are they going to hide? My dear, I don't even know what to say to those people. <laughs> if not for the revelation, Aki Kingdom would have lost such an important personality to Enuago. Hmm. Can you imagine that? That would be a very great lesson to all those men who leave their wives to go and sleep with strange women. If that man had remained faithful to his wife, Trust me, who wouldn't have gotten that woman in Enuago pregnant? And I forget that word. Men will always be men. It is established that they have no control over that flesh dangling between the legs. <laughs> As we speak now, some are key men are still doing the same. <laughs> well, Ada, please get the papers. We need to start the proposal before Viola comes. Um, about that. No, no. I still feel we owe Viola more apologies. Ada, we have apologized and we have reconciled with her. You are right. But when you look at it critically, you will see that Viola fought like a warrior. She risked her relationship. She sacrificed our friendship just to get this right. <laughs> yeah. We still owe her more apologies. And if possible, gather all the young women to get her blessing. Mm? 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 
young women should gather for her blessing. In Apuala. Eh? In Apuala. What's that supposed to mean, Kwan? Of all of us. Of all of us. <laughs> she was the one the goddess chose for this task. That goes to say, she is indeed a very special girl. Listen. When you are called respect to people who ought to be respected, you stand the chance of commanding respect from others. Oh God, I perfectly understand what you mean. But you are going to do that now, eh? But now, get the papers. We need to start. Ozubozubo, we need to do that. I have heard you. I just hope you have perfectly understood it the way you said. I know you. You are stressing me. I am particularly curious as to why I am summoned before the king. It's you, KK. You are the chief priest of Ogogo. And you know that I owed you an high esteem. It is true that our men before us, in their ignorance, destroyed the altar of Ogogo. But we are here. We are wiser. We cannot allow or we cannot afford to suffer because of what they have done that long time ago. We need to restore the altar. With all due respect, my king, I am surprised. I am surprised because you are now sounding so differently. Anyway, uh, look, since I am before you right now, uh, why don't you just confide in me? Tell me exactly what happened. The goddess herself paid me a visit. <laughs> the same goddess the ignorant pastors claim that they destroyed. How could she have paid their visit? I am not joking, Chief Priest. She was here. She appeared right before me in a magnificence. And she told me, that the success we are experiencing right now as a result of the return of Chief Okeke, Polika, is just address rehearsals compared to what is coming. There is something she wants us to do, and that is why I have invited you. I know what is the one who told you. She wants her altar to be restored. Exactly. What will it cost? It was destroyed out of ignorance. But I want us to set it up again. How much will it cost me? Nothing. All I need is your approval as the king. The altar will be set up tomorrow. I already have your approval. So you are invited. Thank you very much. Cleansing, do you have international passport? Yes, I do, sir. Good. I am glad that you have someone who can sit back and take care of your business. Because I will be traveling with you to the United States. What? I am certain you heard me. Listen, Clemson, I have seen you walk. I have seen how dedicated you are to the discharge of your duties. You are a leader indeed. And since you started doing things for me, you never made any requests from me. So I have decided to reward you in my own little way. And that is to take you to the States and uh, teach you my line of business. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. No, 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 please. Thank no, 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 you. Please. Thank you please. So much. Don't do this. Thank you so Don't much. Don't do this, please. Just rise. Rise, rise, rise. Rise. I have been doing everything to better the lives of my people. And your own life. And your own life deserves to be better as well. I am impressed that you have an international passport. So I need you to go and get me that passport. I want to leave the information I need to start the process of your visa. Everything will be fine. Trust me. I will do just that, sir. Th thank you very much. Thank you so, so much, sir. Stop thanking me. But Chief, what about the house you said I'll help you build at Aki? Oh, I have already changed my mind about that. 
Uh, don't misunderstand me. Some other person is building it. Uh, Clemson, you shouldn't be the one building for people. I figured it out. People should be building for you. And that is why I want to teach you business so that uh, there's a place I want you to be. I want you to be among the high and the mighty. And that is the whole essence of this. Listen, listen, drink up, go and get me your passport. Let me start the process of your visa. The time is of the essence. Thank you very much. I, I don't know how to thank you. I say you should not thank me at all. Just drink up. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you so much. Sir. I don't know these things. I just, listen, I, I am a man who believes so much in action. I don't like all these uh, praise the Lord. Thank all these. you. I don't know. Get me your passport. You can get the work. Ah, by the way, I'll go and get it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Good boy. Thank you, sir. Oh, baby, stop now. Hey? Stop. Just let me know what's going on. You're just keeping me under suspense. Just guess what? I, I'm not good at guessing. Tell me. You know what it is. You not believe this if I told you. What? Wow. Chief has... Chief has offered to take me about with him. Are you serious? Yes. He wants to introduce me to his line of business. That man is such a good man. He wants everybody to succeed. Oh, yes. Oh. He's a gift to us, darling. Oh, hmm? thank God. You know what? First thing tomorrow morning, I'm taking my international passport to him. Absolutely. So when are you traveling? I don't know, but I think it's soon. Mm. Calm down, darling. Calm down. Well, it all depends on Chief, but I'm sure it's something that wouldn't take much time. I'm so happy for you. Thank you very much. Huh? Don't worry. As soon as I get back, we'll be planning our wedding. It will be a marriage based on true love that has been tested and trusted. We've seen happy couples in the past, but none will be happier than us. I promise. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm not rushing you into marriage. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Is it? Guess what? What? Clemson is traveling. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. So, where is he going to? To the United States. Are you going with him? No, he's traveling for business with Chief. You see what I told you? No, you see what I told you? I told you to forget uh, 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 Clemson and focus on, on Samson. Now, now he wants to leave you and travel. Oh, Nan, what has this got to do with Samson? It has everything to do with him. It's obvious that uh, this um, Clemson doesn't really like you. Eh? Once he goes out there, he will leave you behind. Nem, can't you see the handwriting on the wall? Mama, there's no handwriting on any wall. You're only trying to ruin my mood today and I will not let you. I'm not trying to ruin your mood. This Clemson does not like you. He's not thinking of you. If he travels now, he goes out there, settles down and he leaves you behind. Nakwa Samson Kijidi. By the way, hmm? I want you to go in. Ponder on what I've told you. Ponder very well, though, because the die is cast. I don't know when you became this difficult and this impossible. Mama Clemson is only traveling for business, that's all. Okay, take our member and name business instead of you to take Samson. Samson, the available, handsome man, slim, in your knee, or your setter, and all about now. Go now. Ponder. Ponda, there is a way I'm saying this. Clemson is not going to come back. How can you even say that? He is traveling for business and he's traveling with Chief. And where is the guarantee that he will come back? He can't go there and forgive your law. After all, he has got Chief to settle her with five million naira. Can you please stop twisting this? The money was not to settle her. It was money given by Chief to show his appreciation for what she did. And Clemson has said that as a compensation to her. Clemson will not come back to this country, Ada. When he comes, bet me on this, Ada. 
Viola will not be allowed to be seen around him. He's going to go to the house. No, no. We'll see now. If you can please stop <laughs> making Viola the topic for our discussions, <laughs> it will be very well appreciated. Okay. <laughs> It cannot be that grandma was right. That Clemson traveled, changed, and forgot about me. The ever elegant one. The one that means the world to me. The only one that can make me happy forever. My tonton make me of the chokromus abarado. Anyamototo. My epitome of beauty. My paragon of ifanalo. Good morning, my angel. I'm surprised. Aren't you supposed to be in the UK? What will I be doing in the UK? When you're here. I came back yesterday. And I came back for you. Please, say yes to me. We can see this marriage now. So I can prepare your papers to travel with me to UK. As soon as I get back, we'll be planning our wedding. It will be a marriage based on true love that has been tested and trusted. We've seen happy couples in the past. But now you'll be happier than us. I promise. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> and don't worry. I'm not rushing you into marriage. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Yes, I've been in touch with your grandma. I'm aware that Clemson has abandoned you. Now, you are wounded and devastated, but I'm here for you. I am here to make you happy. Just say yes to me. Please, we can start a new life. Please. I'm sorry, Samson. I'm prepared to give him a chance. I came all the way from the UK to see you. Yes, please. Stop wasting your time with someone that does not appreciate your effort. I can make you my wife, here and now. Please, just say yes. Please. If waiting for the love of my life is being termed as wasting my time, I'm prepared to take the chance. Chief Polycap Okeke has moved into the mansion built for him in Nakia. Are you aware of that? I'm not aware of that, Mama. Ch Chief isn't back to town. Yes, he is back. I saw him. And what about your man? Nowhere to be found. Eh? Yet you, you turned down the young man who came back all the way from the United Kingdom to ask for your hand in marriage. You turned him down. Mama, you're making this thing difficult for me. You are the one making things difficult for me. You have refused to listen. But you know what? It is your life. 
I am done advising. Your mother in the grave would bear me witness that I did the best I could for my grandchild. What's that? You want to start crying on me? Don't, 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 don't cry. Don't you, don't you dare cry on me. What's done? Oswe. I started feeling like you never really liked me. Come on, Ibuka. Can you say that? I always liked you. And that explained why I was close to you. Well, I recall everything that happened. You resisted me like I was nothing. As a woman who loves you, as a woman who wants the best for you, and as a woman who wants you up there, I was madly resisting you just to push you up there. <laughs> and that boo boo. <laughs> well, um, I'm there now, and um, I'm happy. Not just myself, every other young man of our key have experienced some some kind of success, breakthrough here and there. Not just the young men, even the ladies. We are all doing fine now. Wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> Adam, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> that brings me to this. Does that mean that does that mean that finally you're going to say yes to me marry me be my wife you don't get to do it. I love you I don't know how to say I love you and yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> Seriously, I I cannot find another who can love me this way. I don't think I can. So yes, 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 I'll marry you. Ah, that boo boo, <laughs> come here. <laughs> I love you too. I love you, and I'll not stop loving you.
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know, the first time I came here to deliver the message to Chief, he spoke with so much pride. But now I am so glad to realize that he is one of the most humble men I ever met in my life. Well, you know why we're here? To thank him for everything he has done for us. We should look forward, darling, and not back at what we've passed already. You're right. But why are we visiting him here? My grandma told me he already got a house in Aki. Um, he will eventually retire back to Aki with his family when they come back in um, August. Mm. I think he's only here because he's used to this place. Huh? Sorry for keeping you waiting. <laughs> Chief. I am so glad that both of you are catching up so fast. I am impressed. One more time, I want to wish you a happy married life. Thank you. You're truly the star of Aki. Thank you very much for all that you've done for us. Thank you so much for answering the call. Thank you for all that you have done for the people of Aki and for restoring wealth and prosperity to the people. Please. Yes. Please. We have all the time to talk about this. Now, I, I want to hang out with the newest couple in town. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are here. Of course. Can we do just that? Very well, please. Very well, Chef. <laughs> Very well. No. The lady for the mighty. The beautiful daughter of Udumale Zioku. I don't even know how to praise you. <laughs> I don't understand you, Kina. Why are you praising me? Yeah. Why would I praise you? Hmm? Look at you. You're looking like the goddess herself. <laughs> and that you know what? I'm so happy for this transformation. Well, I'll say the same for you. I've seen the house you are building in your father's compound. It shows you are equally doing well for yourself. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We all are equally doing well. <laughs> Going back to Ezenwanyo Ugu is the best thing that's happened to all of us. I agree. And uh, going to the main topic. Um, Nina, I want to ask you a question. <laughs> is there anything that will make us not to spend the rest of our lives together. <laughs> Wait. I need to understand you, Kenna. Are you asking me to be your wife? Mm. Apart from the fact that we came from the same boat, you are the kind of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, look at it. Uh, Viola got married to Clemson. Ada got married to Ebuka. Nina, please. I, I want you to be my wife so that I can count myself amongst the lucky ones. Please, just say yes. Uh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. It's so for like me marry you. Thank you so much. Oh, Gune, you don't have to thank me. Are you not the special one? The one who got my son's heart and he proposed to her that year. You're a co-member of this family, you know. I am sorry, Mrs. Duke, but I'm not. Yes, I used to have feelings for your son, but everything has ended already. You see, Ugo, 
I came all the way from the UK just because of you. See, my son is passing through a lot. And I know that you are the one he needs that will make that turn around in his life. How? Your son asked me to move on. And I've moved on already. How is it possible for me to turn things around? I got your mom's message, that is why I'm here. I never knew you were in the country. Yes, I I came back a few days ago. And I've not been fine. How will I get involved? How can I turn things around? I may have hurt you with my words in the past. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. I've forgiven you. I've also forgiven your mom. That is why I accepted our gift in the first place. All right. Um, are you going to marry me still? All right, let me tell my mom. Don't be so fast. I never told you that I will marry you. But, but, you said you have forgiven me. So, why won't you marry me? I'm married. You are what? I'm married. My husband brought me here and he will soon come back to pick me. You see? I'm sorry, but you're late. Is this mystery? 